World of War Customs vs Black Ops 3 Customs Part 2. You guys really seem to enjoy the last time I did this, so you know what, I picked out 5 more maps, and I checked out the original version on World of War, and then compared it to the remade version on Black Ops 3, so if you guys do enjoy these types of videos, then you know, let me know, and I'll definitely do some more. And yeah, without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and jump straight into our first map for this video. Alright then, so here we are, we're on Rainy Death on World of War. Now, I don't think I've played this version of Rainy Death in, like, such a long time. Show objective costs 1,000, but okay. A little bit wacky, a little bit random, but we move. So, to continue your mission, shoot the targets in their heads. Okay, no worries. So, bam. Is that it? Or do I have to do all of them? I might have to do all of them. Uh, so, there we go. And there we go, yeah, the door opens. Okay, so, this is a map, right, that was pointed out to me so many times during the first time I did this video. I got so many comments being like, yo, where's Rainy Death? Where's this map? Whatever. So, you no, we're making a part two we're bringing it back and now boys i'm not gonna lie right D bro that is the loudest round change music i've ever heard in my entire life all right i'm just gonna have to firm it but yeah the black ops 3 version of this map is actually so well done like you might think this is kind of crazy for a you know a world of war custom map but trust me right once we get onto black ops 3 you're gonna be like damn like it it's genuinely insane but uh, i don't really know what my goal is gonna be i don't think i'm really gonna be like doing the easter egg or anything like that so i mean you know we'll just check out the map give it a little explore see where the rainy death roots lies you know uh, and then we'll go check out on bo3 but so i know in the bo3 version it's like a lot of like titanfall 2 a lot of like apex weapons and some destiny weapons stuff like that in there i think i read on the uh the download page that it's like csgo weapons and like Modern warfare 2 weapons and stuff like that which is pretty cool but again like genuinely i i cannot remember i have played this map before but like very very long ago like we're talking like when discord i don't think even existed all right i was using a, a little app called like okay hello in order to talk to my friends outside of like an xbox live party right this, this was ages ago my all-in-one game npc i don't think it could oh my god okay yeah i definitely couldn't handle rainy death all right you know what not even bothered that we took an L there doesn't even bother me you know what don't even care don't even care uh, i think after this round i'm gonna start making a move so yeah let's start going what have we got here the raffickers uh do i want that oh the double taps here oh i didn't realize double tap was here i thought it was like over there in the uh, bo3 version but i guess they changed it for the black ops 3 version okay uh well yeah let's just keep going up i guess uh what is this m16 don't really want the m16 to be completely completely honest with you i'm not really a big fan of that i actually just might not have a choice like i might just have to buy it wait no this is infinite ammo oh okay cool all right well let's just go to town real quick get a load of points wait is that a pack punch or a bonfire cell hold up um what uh what okay i'm gonna buy this just in case it is a free pack punch okay it was a bonfire cell okay bro like the fact that custom maps tease you with that is actually criminal by the way like look man if you're gonna give me a bonfire cell do it at least after i've opened up pack a punch like come on don't be playing around with me like that uh okay but this was like collecting souls a minute ago so i guess this is a soul box what it does i have no idea wait we can go this way oh wait pick up fuse okay cool was this like this in the bo3 version they must have changed it okay so it, like it's actually like a very different map okay okay i like that all right i like that see like genuinely right like the black ops 3 version of this map i know i keep going about black ops 3 version but like it is without a doubt in like my top five custom zombie maps maybe even my top three like it's genuinely so good so all right i hold rainy death very near and dear to my heart also how many souls is this thing gonna take like actually i would have hoped you know not too many but oh wait no is that it uh i think that might be it actually yeah okay well there we go uh which way can i go i can go this way i'm pretty sure this way should lead me to power so you know let's stand up there i think up here should be the power switch somewhere yeah okay it's right here so bam power is on uh cool stuff so i'm trying to remember now in the black ops 3 version you have to get like a key and that's how you'd get back to like the whole spawn area i don't know if that's just like changed in this version or not I, I i really don't know i'm gonna go check actually so can i make my way through this door by just paying no okay so we are going to find maybe some kind of key uh that's that's fine that's calm there's definitely a way back up there though because i saw that you could buy the door so uh for now let's just keep having a look around here we can go this way we can go this way i think this takes us over to like the whole like lease section of the map so we'll check that out in a bit bro actually the world's most useless door a door that literally just leads to a claymore and this zombie is running into it what a place uh let's go this way actually because this is where the box is so is it here yeah here it is okay cool i, I want to see what we can get out of the box so what are you gonna give me game we've got the ksg honest to god like this might be one of the most boring weapons known to man but oh wait turn the valve cost 1000 points okay what that does i have no idea but you know what good to know oh wait oh there's another little like soul capture thingy okay cool i mean i guess let's just fill this up then there's no reason not to go like actually going back and playing this like crazy for when it came out but the bo3 version is just insanely better obviously i mean you know let's not kid anyone here we weren't really gonna go back to this and be like damn the world at war version stuff i think 
think the only version of a map where I prefer the World of War version, honest to God, is like Cheese Cuban Limited. I'm not even joking. That might be the only map. Okay, is this thing done? I think this thing might be done. Maybe I'll have a quick look. Yeah, okay, that's done. Uh, okay, so what did that valve thing do? Is that, oh, does that let us go down here? Oh, it did, it does. Oh, okay, cool. Nice, all right. Yo, I'm actually figuring these things out, bro. Actually too smart, but uh, I think Pac-Man should be here. So, yep, there it is. Very nice, very cool stuff. So, still doesn't change the fact that I don't know how to get back to spawn. <laughs> like, it's fine, well, it's fine, all right, we'll figure it out. Look, right, I'm a little detective, all right, I'm on the case. Wait, what, I can buy an electric trap? But like, wh where is that even gonna go off at? Game, you got me speechless. Uh, I might need to get myself another weapon as well, actually. M16 do be out of ammo, and I don't know how long this KSG is actually gonna last me. So, game, please give me something good. The PDW, my favorite weapon. Straight up. Oh, okay. Hello, Napalm. Oh my god. Okay, this is actually really bad. Yeah, I uh, I really like the PDW though. It's like one of my favorite weapons ever. I don't know what it is. It's just like, insanely satisfying and it just makes me feel emotions I didn't even know I had. Uh, it is not taking out that Napalm though. Oh my god. Please back away. Can you die, please. Like, oh my god. Okay, well, there he goes. He blew up anyways. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. So, I can go this way, right? No. Wait, no. I definitely can because there's stuff over there, but like, which one do I buy? Oh no, there we go. Uh, okay, that's just a like, really weird way to like buy that, I don't know. But we move. All right, we're here anyways. So we can obviously head in here. I'm pretty sure PhD should be somewhere in this area. Yeah, there it is. Uh, what do we got? We got Tommy gun. Cool stuff. Can't go that way. We can go up here though. And then we got another one of these like soul collector thingies. And that looks to be about it. Okay. You know what? That, that's fine. That's fine. Maybe filling up all of these is what opens up the door at spawn. I, I actually have no idea. I mean, it's worth a try, I suppose. I need to do it at some point. Could also just like straight up just be for the Easter egg. But do you ever get that feeling of like when your throat is just like really tight? That is currently what my throat is doing. I don't really appreciate it, to be honest. I think I'm having withdrawal symptoms. I've not had Red Bull in like two days. Don't worry, buddy. All right, we got we got another couple coming like later on. Oh, dude, there's another napalm. Are you serious? Oh, I don't like the napalm. I really don't like the napalms. I'm not a big fan. Me and me and the napalm don't go way back. We're, we're, we're not buddy buddies. Oh, please back away. Okay, there we go. Oh, no, no, I'm dead. I'm actually going to die. I'm actually going to die. I'm not going to die. I am. I'm, no, 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 I'm going through all the emotions right now. Straight up going through the emotions. Holy. That might have been one of the most scariest things I've ever done in my entire life. I'm not gonna lie. But there we go. All right, that's all filled up now. <laughs> what do I even say, bro? I just like, like I think I was a lot of doodle bob or something. But uh, there's this. And we also picked up that part. I can't remember. We, like, I don't think we've used that yet. I don't think you'd be a uh, soul box, no. My guess is that's probably for like the Easter egg. Okay, we can go this way. But you know what? Right now, we're kind of underpowered. So I think I might have to just like pack a bunch of gun. Plus, you know what? I want to see what the pack bridge camera is going to be like. Because on the BO3 version, it's got one of the sexiest pack bridge cameras known to man. It's basically this, actually. But better. Like, that's basically what it is. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, there's another one here. Oh, cool. All right. That's actually good to know. Uh, can I blow that up? Duh. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll fill this up. So if there wasn't three, naturally, that means it has to be five. That's just how that works. All right. I don't do the maths. You know, I don't, I don't come up with the logic. That's, that's just how it be. All right. God, bro. I do not feel safe being down here, to be completely honest with you. I can kill him here, which is nice. So I can kind of like sit back here. But bro, honestly, like overall, this is just not a good spot. Oh, there's a lever here. Oh, okay. I mean, cool. I, I mean, I'll take it. Oh, there's a napalm here as well. Oh, we're dead. We're actually dead, bro. Like, we are straight up cooked. Ooh, let me out. Let me out. Let me out. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm gonna die. Yeah. What was I even expecting there? Like, straight up, what was I even expecting? Um, okay. I'm gonna assume that's probably done. Like, that was like an entire round's worth of zombies there. So, I'm gonna leave and I, I don't know. We'll come back to it maybe. For the time being, though, like, hell no. Dude, game. Oh my god. Let me buy it. Thank you, bro. God. Oh, and there goes that quick five. Okay. Bro, I do not like the position we're in. I'm gonna be straight up on this. I'm not really a big fan, all right? We're not having the greatest at all, and there's a bonfire cell. Oh my god. That is, like, potentially the most, like, roughest timing to get that. Because I want to use it, but I know for a fact that if I go down there right now and I try and use it, I am dead. Like, it is straight up over for me. Like, there's actually no coming back. Let me try and get down to, like, one last guy. Because, like, I'm in desperate deed now trying to get Jug. It just says part required, but, like, what's the part, bro? What is it, boss man? I need to know. I mean, we do have, like, 8,000 points, so we can go and explore this way. The dead shot here. Uh, bro, like, is this literally the whole room? It's just Simon Says. That's insane. If I die here, by the way, I'm not going to be happy. All right, actually, let me out. Uh, okay. Huh. I'm a little bit baffled right now. I might actually have to buy the, the completely useless <laughs> Claymore door. Is that what we've resorted to? No, there wasn't even anything in there. Bro, what? I'm actually so confused now. Like, I need to figure it out, but it's like, I, I just can't. I don't think I've got the 
big brain down. I mean, there could be something in here, maybe. I mean, well, we just opened up a valve. I have to get his tackle punch. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. I mean, maybe it's that. It'd be very random. Yeah, okay, it's not that. I'm just thinking of places we could maybe put the lever down. Yeah, right now, like this is this is a bit of a rough situation. I'm not even gonna lie. There was like an entire spot over there, which I haven't really managed to get to yet. At least in like the BO3 version there is. Would you go this way? No. Bro, I'm baffled. I'm actually straight up baffled. Um, okay, uh, the most I could probably think of right now is maybe we just didn't fill this up and there's only four. I mean, we can just quickly check. If I just kill this guy down here, is this gonna oh bro, okay. Yeah, so it's not done yet. Um, I don't like that. I really don't like that, like at all. Yeah, I think the best play here is probably to come back in a minute. Because bro, if I sit down there, like I'm dead, it would be kind of helpful. Like it's gonna suck buying this before by jug, but buying double tap would be really useful. Oh, bro, are you actually serious? There's no way. There's actually no way I'm trying to big brain this whole thing. I'm thinking it's like convolute Easter egg steps, and it's literally one door. Bro, I'm so done. <laughs> actually so done i i can't believe that i'm actually baffled like straight up got me baffled bro oh my god that's actually so annoying all right well uh there's that i guess so what i can quickly do is i can head back in here uh go through this door and then jug should just be right here so there we go uh, we can also pick up a piece i mean sure there we go what that piece is gonna be used for who knows see it's obviously all leading up to like some kind of buildable i mean we picked up uh what three pieces so far maybe it'll let me build this over here now i, I really doubt it but maybe nope it just says part needed first okay yeah i mean honestly a little bit confused but you know it's calm we move we actually just move all right let me go finish up this down here see now that i've got like double tap and jug and stuff like that I'm, i feel a lot more protected so i don't really mind sitting down here oh, bro, are you serious it was literally that one zombie we had to fill up all right game you're not funny you're not trolling me today is not the day where i'm gonna get trolled uh okay so bro the last like soul box thingy it just has to be over by jug right like surely oh dude i might be dead here actually oh my god yo i actually i might be the world's best oh Oh my god, I actually might be the world's best zombie player. Like, I'm not even sweating up at this point, bro. Straight up. Like, it just comes naturally. It's actually just too easy, bro. How's he do it? Actually, how's he do it? Uh, but yeah, okay. It has to be up here. Like, it just has to be. So let me see if I, I can like go on the lookout for it. I mean, it could actually be back in here. No, okay, it doesn't look like it. I really don't want to get caught in here either, though. Oh, please get out of my way. Okay, yo. Uh, my, me saying I don't want to get caught in here. I may or may not have just gotten caught in here. Um, okay, it's actually really bad. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, we can also buy objectives. There we go. Easter Easter egg steps. <laughs> what are they? Activate power. Activate console by doing four challenges. Okay. Oh, wait. It is, it is only four soul boxes. Oh, okay. Wait, so that's it then. Yeah, that's all of them. Okay. I, I wasn't planning on doing Easter egg. I'm probably still not going to, but I mean, you know, it's, it's like right there. So if I come in here then, is one of these just going to be on now? No. I'm saying, what, what are they on about? Yeah, I think I'd have to use a guide to, you know, probably finish this Easter egg. So I'm probably not going to bother. I would be so down though to come back and beat a bunch of like custom World of War Easter eggs if you guys want me to. Uh, and I'll definitely put this one on the list i don't remember recording for 25 minutes on this map i mean uh you know what let's just go hit the box we'll see if we can get anything cool we'll probably play like another round or so and then i'll probably just move on to the bo3 version in my opinion it is like so much better like that's the thing right with world of war maps is they slap right like custom zone maps of world of war they actually do slap and they're incredibly nostalgic and i love them but like let's be real the bo3 ones are like 90 percent of the time better that's why all of them get remade into black ops 3 plus it really feels like all the weapons are just kind of like you know just like basic you know bo2 bo1 weapons by the looks of it well, trust me, right? When we get onto the BO3 version, like we're gonna get so many craziest, or wackiest little weapons. I mean, a little bit insane. Oh, we got a bonfire, so uh, alright. I want to see if I can go pack wrench this M1927. Oh, by the way, right? This is probably like the best time for me to ask this while it's like the start of the video. Uh, I put up a poll the other day, and I was asking if you guys prefer like solo content or the co-op content I've been doing recently. Uh, I got a few responses, but to be honest, I just want to double check what you guys prefer. Oh, wait, we can dolphin dive in this map. Wait, there's no way you can dolphin. That's actually crazy. That's actually insane. <laughs> Look at me go. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to double check what you guys prefer because obviously there's no point me doing a bunch of cold content if no one's gonna watch it uh so yeah you know just let me know right now i'm planning to do like a mix of both but you know it, it's up to you guys what i make uh but yeah okay i think i'll probably do this last round and then we'll just go on to the bo3 version also there is a full purple which is kind of upsetting you know what i do like though is like the bo3 easter egg for this uh is actually kind of similar to this version right which i do like bro it's like a boss fight and everything in the bo3 version actually goes kind of nutty but okay is that it is that the round there we go all right round 15 i think we checked out everything we really need to like check out on the map very cool map you know it's very nostalgic if you guys do want to play any of the maps i'll play in this video the download links to everything will be in the description like usual uh but yeah you know now that we check out the uh world of war version of rainy death let's go ahead and let's check it out on the black ops 3 version all right then so yeah here we are on the black ops 3 version of rainy death i mean just look how beautiful this map just looks like it's actually just oh, a really good map uh we do have some stuff here a oh, bingo that's actually kind of wacky but yeah i think 
I'm just going to go into this on classic to be honest with you like this map is just really good and I kind of just want to show it off like especially with all the weapons and stuff like that so yeah let's get out of here I mean just look how much better this map looks compared to the World of War version I mean obviously right before we get anyone in the comments being like well, well obviously the Black Ops 3 version is going to look better I mean like I know but it still gets me every single time because like this is just so nice like this is easily one of my top five maps I will glaze this map until the day I die all right this map is so good plus it's got like the killing floor hood and got like a bunch of cool weapons stuff like that I'm excited all right I'm a little bit giddy I mean just look at this perk machine as well really nice see because I feel like it's so easy now for you just to make a custom map and just use like I don't know like the base machine stuff like that so when you see like custom machines and like custom huds and custom weapons stuff like that like it just it, it's all like the small stuff but it's still like really impressive it should be easier for like a player to come in and like actually understand what to do on the map as well I mean that door there caused me so many troubles in the world of war version but if you just walk up to it now it just says keys required so you know you're looking for a key bro I, I just genuinely love this map honestly <laughs> like it's so good uh what is this just the fal do i want to buy this i mean yeah i might as well we'll also start making a move out here so obviously this whole part now has been like changed so you know it's not the same the whole point of these videos was to, like show off a bit of a comparison and to be honest like i don't really do a whole lot of comparing all right so we're actually gonna do some comparisons time so let me open up here bro i mean just look how much better this looks this bit has also been changed like you can go back here now you can do that in the world of world version you go this way as well and i'm pretty sure in here is where the power is i think in both versions right so yeah here we go we can turn on the power there and yeah okay we can open up this locker and then this is where the keys are i mean as you can see by the big key icon and that's how you get back to spawn to get like jug and stuff like that it's so good it's honestly so good like compared to the world of war version where you just buy a door like i love that bro do you see that like, like the actual nuke just like fell down that was so weird because like, yeah here's double tap I me mean, just look at that machine it actually looks so good but uh, i think what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna go straight to uh jug so let me open up this door here so bam there we go we're back at here now jug obviously is just in here so there it is you can also carry something what's this it's like an axe uh there is a load of side easter eggs as well i'm probably not going to dive too deep into them to be completely honest with you but yeah this is one of those maps i would definitely recommend people check out it's got a pretty good easter egg guide as well i have b on the channel as well so you know if you want to go check that out uh, i'll leave a, like a thing at the end of the video so you guys can go watch that bro it's got a crazy boss fight by the way like an insane boss fight uh but yeah so you know what i might just try and get set up like i might just buy double tap as well while i'm here like you know what why not actually why not oh my god okay yeah so there is these guys i'm not really a massive fan of these mini bosses to be honest with you I'm not a massive fan but you know they had to add some kind of variety into the map Dude, what is that is that just another one of those things yeah okay it is map does get a little bit wacky though i'm not gonna lie oh my god back away from me please uh yeah okay do, do, where do i want to go i think i probably just want to go this way for now obviously we got this whole part of the map over here so bam here's the box just like it was in the original and do i come in here also yep there we go okay so reroute that i think that's gonna let me go into the sewers now so yeah it's basically the exact same so you know cool stuff there 1500 if i want to get down there there is a new perk on this version as well which is really cool i, I can't remember what it's called but it's basically like a better version of like who's who i'm not gonna lie it's actually really sick like it's so op i'm pretty sure they limit you so you can only buy one around like it's very very good free money i will take that so we got like 5k like i'm, I'm actually kind of like stacked up right now okay can i head down here now yeah i can okay cool come on open up there we go bam down into the sewer okay i think we need to bring all three of those hatchet thingies over here i'm gonna go try that i mean hopefully i don't die while i do it but wait there was one here so let me pick this up so what do i do do i just like hit this thing or i need to interact with it or i don't really get it but yeah i mean there we go i guess i mean like it's something to do with that oh dude i'm actually out of ammo uh this is bad yeah i need to go hit the box because i want to show off some of the cool weapons all right game give me something good give me something really really good all right and we got are you joking we actually got a sniper you are playing you are straight up playing right now yo never mind bro me and this map do not go way back what is that what is this oh my god okay never mind I mean, this map do go back now. Bro, what? <laughs> this thing's crazy. I mean, it kind of takes a hot minute to reload, but like, it's also pretty good. Also, yeah, look, look at the nuke, bro. It's like fell from the sky. Okay, I need another weapon game. This isn't going to cut it. Come on, I need something good. Like, I need like, a, just, like at least like, a, like I don't know. Bro, are you serious? It's a mega game. I appreciate it, but like, not right now, bro. On fire sale, though. Um, yes. Okay, I will take that. If we can pack a bunch of both our guns right now, that would be actually so hype. I think it costs 2,000, right? I actually can't remember what a bonfire takes it down to. Part of me will say it's a 1,000, but I don't think it is. No, it is a thousand. Cool. Well, I mean, I guess we're about to get both of these pack a bunch then. So that's cool. Wait, no, never mind. I think I'm about to die actually, bro. Nope. Okay, we're good. The heat bringer. Oh my god, bro. We're going in. Yeah, bro. Look at the package camera, by the way. It looks so nice. It's just actually so clean. Like straight up. I love it. Oh, dude. Okay, we also have a little mini boss here. Oh my god. Ooh, don't die. Don't die, please. See, as cool as these weapons are, they're also just kind of not it. Uh, I'm gonna buy this though. Never mind. I haven't got enough points yet. But it's cool. Shadow Cider. Look how sick that looks. But yeah, I'll probably show it off by like, you know, 
know, the end of this map. It's actually really cool. Uh, what I do need to do, though, is I need to buy speed cola. Like, bro, I'm not gonna lie. I actually picked the two guns with the world's longest reload. This was a big mistake. Like, actually a big mistake. <laughs> we moved though. All right. You live, you learn. Okay, buy this and let's just get out of here. Let's actually dip. I do not like being in the sewer. In the both versions of this map. Both versions scare me. Got another bonfire cell? I mean, all I suppose. There is like different versions of the uh, all of the ammo types as well, which is cool. I don't think I'm going to show off in this video, but yeah, there are some like pretty cool ones. Uh, so yeah, let me head in here. Got speed cola here. This is like a whole new part of the map, by the way. But they connected it quite well because just through here is where you, you know, do the whole thing with the sewers. Like it, it actually just like it's connected really, really well. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like they just straight up cooked with this map, bro. Like straight up cooked with it. They said, yeah, we made something good back in World of War. We're actually about to make it 10 times better, which is insane. Not a lot of maps will say that. Like straight up, like this is on par with something like Leviathan. Actually, you know what? Like no offense to Leviathan, but this is actually like a better upgrade than Leviathan. Oh, there is only a uh, five perk limit though. I mean, it's understandable, but yo, back away, little bro. What are you even looking at? Okay, honestly, I might trade out this. It's cool, but at the same time, I just don't really want it. Like it's not ready yet. What is this, bro? The murder vault? Oh, this is the wonder weapon. Oh, dude, this thing is so sick, by the way. Like straight up, this is one of the coolest weapons to ever come out in custom zombies. Look at this shit, bro. Nah, this thing goes so hard. I forgot this even existed. Bro, this thing like actually just slaps. Just straight up slaps. Wish I could figure out how to do this. Like, I, I just don't, I just don't get it. Yeah, I do want to pack when just wonder weapon though. Like, honestly, this thing is so cool. It's so good as well. Like, it's actually like a really good weapon. Okay, but let me go ahead and pack a bunch of this. Uh, hopefully we don't die. We should be good though. I mean, I literally have a death machine. But here we go. Bam, look at this thing, bro. It's so sick. Like, it's actually so good. Wait, we can get a part here. I don't know what I just picked up, but cool. Dude, this thing's so good. Okay, is there anything else you want to check out? I mean, you can go like this way as well. I don't think there's too much down here, to be honest. Like, they got dead shot there, but like, that's kind of it. I think it's mainly used for like the Easter egg. Oh, but yeah, we can also go down this way as well. All right, it's hidden here. Thermite's there. We can unlock this door. I, I, nice game. Very cool. Glad I've been able to check out what's in there. Oh, yeah, here's the last one, bro. I, yo, if I can figure out what this is used for, I would love to try and figure it out, but I really don't want to have to look it up. Also, this thing actually reloads really fa uh, fast. Like, two months of price, to be fair, for a minigun. Even with speed cola, I thought it was going to take a while, but uh, it's actually pretty good. Okay, apparently you do take these down to that area. I don't get how it works. I looked it up. E either it's just like bugged for me or I'm just doing something wrong. Wait, no, I am just straight up doing it wrong. Like straight up was just doing it wrong. Apparently we need to take them down here. Yeah, I'm a little bit like confused on where it's actually asking me to take them. I won't lie. It just says bring them to the travel agency at the spawn area. What does that even mean? You know what? Let me get down to like one guy and I'm actually going to figure this out because I kind of want to like know what it does now. Also, look at that, bro. That was so sick. <laughs> that was awesome, bro. Oh, and we got a nuke. Hopefully that doesn't end the round. Yeah, what is the travel agency? Is it this? Do I, oh, I bring them here. Oh, okay. I get it now. So if I pick up the axe that was here. Yeah, it literally says travel on the wall there. So can I place them down there? Yeah, okay, we can. Oh, okay. We're figuring it out. We're getting there. We're learning. Okay, so the second one was right here. So bam. Okay, so bam. There we go. Oh, that gives us this. Oh, oh, what is this? Is it like a hell's retriever? Uh, I guess it is. So I'll just toss that there. Oh, it's like a monkey bomb. Oh, okay. Right, that's actually pretty sick. So basically it just says get 60 kills with the axe. If you have enough kills, the school head to the right as you enter will be dripping with blood. Throw an attractor act at the wall and the room will open up. Cool. You know what? I'm kind of invested now. I'm actually straight up invested. I don't know why there was the whole like thing in the sewers that had the axe in it. I really don't get that. Like to be honest, I don't get it, but uh, it's calm. We move. Okay. So here's our first horse. Let me toss that into there. Uh, I'm going to need more. Can I just like buy them? No. So you actually have to like wait for a max ammo. That kind of sucks. But I think you could buy max ammos, right? Like if I come in here. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, that took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to take. Let me just kill you real quick. Oh no. He just shot the max ammo. Okay. Well, there we go. Dude, I'm actually red screening. Oh my god. All right. According to this guide, though, I should only need like two more big hordes. Hopefully that's the case. All right. I've spent a little bit too long on this map so far. Oh, dude. Oh, no, 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 no. Bro. Wait. What? Okay. You know what? This is a good time, I suppose, to, you know, show off this. Basically, right. You go into this form and you need to get kills. And if you get enough kills, you come back. All right. It's really as simple as that. It's literally just a better version of like Tombstone or Who's Who. Bro, you cannot run with these guns, bro. Like straight up. I'm actually so unbelievably slow. I'm gonna have to go pick up like stamina or something. All right, I'd say we've got our full horde here. So let me go ahead and toss one of these bad boys in. Hopefully we'll kill all of them. I mean, how many kills am I gonna go up here? So we're at 440 right now. So this thing went off, went up to 460. So yeah, we got about 20 kills there. So yeah, I'd say one more and we should be good. Okay, let me buy this. I actually just need it, bro. Like I wasn't gonna go for this. I was gonna go for the, um, the shadow one again but like i just can't bro we got loads of stuff in here as well we got random perks sure we got dead shot what an actual
sure what they are. That is straight up saying. Oh, we, look at that. We got it, though. I got me a second one. We got the uh, the shadow one back. Cool. All right, there we go. All right, that should be it. So apparently something in here is going to start, like, bleeding or something like that. Or some crazy stuff's going to happen. We should have enough. So where's it saying I need to go? Oh, it's literally the, uh, it's that area in the sewers. Yeah, it's right here. Okay, so what we got to do is we need to get another max ammo. Uh, and then I think we just need to throw one at that door. And then that should be it. Well, there is another thing, but, you know, we'll come back to that. Can I just buy a max ammo? Yeah, I can. It did not give me um more hatchets, so that is actually so sad. God damn it, game. God damn it. Bro, holy shit, game. Are you going to give me a max ammo or not? <laughs> I'm just going to be here for like a, like a solid 10 minutes. Oh, okay, we got one of these guys. These guys usually drop a max ammo. So come on, game. Give me a max ammo, please. I'd very much appreciate it. There we go. All right, so I just need to come down here, throw one of these at the wall. So bam, there we go. That should open up the wall, right? And now there is a little sequence here where I've got to go into like the shadow side of vision. Oh my God, there's no way I'm going to die here. No, okay, we're good. Okay, enter in here. So apparently, yeah, okay, we need to interact with this. And then basically we need to find like a red portal or something like that. Is that it there? I don't know. I really don't know. Um, You know what? Let's just go have a look. We are on a time limit though. Let me just read what it says. It says, interact with the altar completely to shadow side of vision. Whilst in this vision, you need to find a glowing portal and melee it before you've run out of time. If you run out of time, you'll need to wait an additional round to interact with it again. Uh, Okay, we're going to be quick. Oh, it's here. Uh, Bam. There we go. Is that it? Interact with it now? Like what, what do I do? What do I do now? Once you melee the portal, you're going to normal vision, blah, blah, blah. Golden zombie will now spawn somewhere on the map and slowly make his way to the pillar. Once it's close enough to the pillar, you'll be able to start damaging it. You need to kill a zombie before it blows up the pillar. If successful, the zombie will drop a glowing orb, which you can then pick up. Oh my god, bro, this shit's gonna take so long. Bro, you gotta do this like fucking two more times after this. Yo, is it even worth it? I don't even know if it is. Is that the golden zombie up there? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, so he needs to go all the way down there. Bro, yeah, this is gonna take so long. Yeah, I don't think this is worth, bro. <laughs> I don't think this is worth doing. Oh my god, bro, are you actually serious? Bro, just like sprinting. Bro, is actually sprinting. Okay, there we go. Okay, pick this up. Dude, am I gonna die? I actually just died. You're a joke, okay? Yeah, this does not seem worth it, bro. Like, basically, all it gives you is a scythe. I thought it'd be cool, but the fact that you've got to do this three times and it's gonna take this long, bro, I, I don't I don't think I even... Oh, I think I'm gonna die here, actually. But yeah, I don't think I really want to do it, bro. I don't think I can be bothered. All right, yeah, I think that's just gonna be it for this. I, I'm just not gonna bother, like, putting all my time into this. Cool map, though. If you want to, like, you know, check it out, definitely do so. Yeah, bro, I don't even know how to, like, go back into the mode. Like, unless you need to have this, but again, like, I just can't buy it. So, you know what? Yeah, okay, I'm just done with this. So, yeah, that is Rainy Death. Genuinely a top five map on the Black Ops 3 Workshop. Genuinely one of the best. I mean, just look at this wonder weapon. Look how sick it is. Yeah, definitely worth checking out. But, yeah, with Rainy Death done, let's just go ahead and move on to our next map, back on World of War. Bro, what is this drawing of Richtofen like? Bro, what even is that? All right, so our next map, right, uh, is Das Heron House or Das Heron House. I, I don't really know how to say it. Uh, I'm not German, unfortunately. You know, it's not in my blood. It's not my roots. But yeah, this was another map uh, that a lot of people told me that I missed out in my original video, my first video on this. So you know what? Here we are, right? We got the Black Ops One hood. Like honestly, if this was me, like I would, ha I would, I would mistake this for a Black Ops One. Can we dolphin dive? No. Okay, we can't dolphin dive. This is an L map. Honestly, like if you recommend this to me, like you're actually getting banned from the channel but yeah i played this map like a few times bro oh um, bro what is this bro i know civil hd is getting excited but yeah i played this a few times on black ops 3 not like many times and, no, and like never even beat the map uh but yeah definitely want to check it out i've never played it on world of war so this is definitely going to be interesting to play like to be honest i don't remember anything about like the uh the 3 version either so yo we're just going into this role it gives me a lot of kino vibes though it's kino but you know not dark and dull and you know just sad to look at uh so yeah for now let's just gather up a bunch of points might need to buy me this M14 that's down here, but while we do that, right, I've got another little special announcement. Oh, wait, we can pick up a hammer. Okay, I mean, cool. There we go. Uh, but yeah, all right, if you've been around the channel, you'll know that my internet might be some of the worst internet known to man. Like, I actually, like, live out in the in the sticks, in the slums. I actually out here living in a war field with how bad my internet is, but boys, the, the bad internet arc of my channel is coming to an end. The 12th of August, all right, so in, like, less than two weeks, I'm going to be getting internet that is, like, I think, like, 10 times better than the one I've currently got. Also, by the way, that like, what is that dawn points icon like that just straight up needs to go but yeah i think it's like 10 times better like right now my speeds i think it's like i know americans are gonna be like yo that's actually embarrassing but uh, i think for like my download i think it's like 70 to 80 megabits uh and then i'm gonna be going up to like i think like i think it said like maximum is like 900 so yeah it's it's a big upgrade all right it's a big upgrade for me so you might be thinking like Jay, that's good but like what like, what's even the point of saying this well basically it means i can bring back the streaming all right i love streaming but my internet has just been so dog shit like it just doesn't allow me to do it 
it. So, you know, starting from the 12th, you know, I expect streams regularly on the channel. You know, get your money out because I'm going to be begging for donations. Uh, but no, it should be a lot of fun. I'll finally do that Elden Ring stream that people keep like commenting on my videos. We got another double points. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. And we got Insta Girl. Okay. Uh, but yeah, you know, I just thought I'd share that. But all right, we've got like 4,000 points. Let's start making a move. Basically, right, this run on the World at War map is kind of just to like get the layout of the map and then like to just use that. I guess like on the BO3 version. But uh, what is it? Pick up part? What part have I got? Game. What, what part even is it? Is it this? Oh, there we go. What is that? Just like a clamp? Cool. I mean, sure, you know. Uh, can I go down that way? Down to the fiery pits of hell, bro. I think at, like Michael Afton is down there. Or William Afton. I, I don't know. I don't know my FNAF lore too much. But uh, what have we got back here? Okay, nothing there. Uh, anything back here? No, can I go? There's Jug. Okay, cool. I assume that like once we turn on power, that'll open up. This map is kind of dark though, which I'm not really a massive fan of. If I remember correctly, and from like the screenshots, the um, Black Ops 3 version is a lot like brighter, which I'm a big fan of. Bro, he actually looks like the old man from Up, bro. I'm not even playing. Like, that could be like an actual world leader, like an actual like just awful person. I don't know, but like straight up looking like the old man from Up. Just thought I'd say that. Bro, where am I going? Like, what, what is going on here? All right, there has to be like a door down here. The only place I can really go. So obviously I'm missing something. Oh wait, oh bro. Oh, okay. Never mind. It's just an NPL wall by. I got excited the second I saw that. Just filled me with dread. Uh, okay, we can go this way. All right, cool. We're outside now, giving us some like Varukt vibes. Put the stake out here. Okay, power is that way. Good to know. I still don't know what this hammer's used for. You'd think it'd be used like, I don't know, like the shovel on like Origins, but it's not. Uh, okay, so it's in here. I can literally hear it. Wait, no, I'm hearing this. What is this? Liar. Unlucky, bro. Oh my god. Unfortunately, I, I don't really care about the Das Haran House uh, law, you know. Let's go for MatPat, bro. Okay, SVP sent me a video of MatPat actually throwing it back. Insane, bro. Insane video. I'm gonna, I'm <laughs> gonna put it on screen, bro. But, like, it just made me giggle. This is actually what retirement does to him, bro. It's actually like, it's rough. It's a rough life out here, but you know what? He's living his best life and I respect it. Okay, Max Ammo. That's actually really good because I was literally about to run out of ammo there, but uh, let's open up this. Where am I going? Uh, is power down here? No. Okay, well, it's another door. 2,000 points, bro. I'm actually going to go broke, but all right, I guess I'll buy this Type 100 for now. Oh, I just realized the uh, perk icons. I kind of like them. They're all right. Look a little bit nifty, but okay, power must be activated first. No worries. Another door here. Okay, we've got speed cuddler here, and we also have another door here, which is at least like the MP40. Oh, I'm happy we got the Type 100, all right? The Type 100, it's like one of my favorite guns as well. I don't know what it is. It's just like weirdly satisfying. I don't know. It's kind of like the PDW. I've got no reason to like it, but I just do. It, it really do just be like that. What is this, bro? This is a big chest. Oh, bro. Oh my God. Are you serious? Okay. We kind of messed up with that. All right. That was my bad. All right. Caught me a little bit off guard. All right. I got a little bit frightened. Yo, where's the part? Uh, the part actually just disappeared. Okay. I'm going to hope that's nothing important. I'm sure it's probably going to come out as like the most important part in the entire game, but you know what? It's calm. We move as it's open up this 2000 points, bro. That was actually like extortionate. Bro, what is, bro? Where the where am I? I just want to turn on the power switch. Okay, we got the box here. What is this power must be activated. Oh, I'm trying to turn on power game. Here we go. Never mind. It's not the power switch, apparently. Is this the power switch? There we go. Jesus. Oh, and then here's the uh the plant stuff. I assume that's what the part would have been used for, but you know, unlucky. What is this? It's like a pair of hands. Okay. 1250 to open up that door. Oh, uh, wait, is that another part there? Yeah, okay, we got another part. Oh, okay, this is gonna be like building the riot shield, I assume, right? No, okay, bro. Uh, how? Explain to me how. Do you need all parts be, like to be able to build something? I, I don't really get that, but okay. All right, well, uh, there we go, I guess. Cool stuff. Uh, I guess I'll hit the box, see what we can get. I assume it's just like Black Ops 1 weapons, right? And there are some BO2 weapons and some World of War weapons in there, but of course we get a Black Ops 1 weapon. All right, well, I mean, this map is just like actually gigantic, like straight up. See, I do like big maps, uh, but at the same time, the zombies, especially on World of War, right? They just get stuck. So like, I don't know where this guy is chilling. He's actually residing somewhere and I just don't know. He's like, he's retired, bro. The last zombie could be map hat. Like, he's given up on this lifestyle. He said, nah, it's not for me. Okay, is this last guy? Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, nice. Wonder if I can go find that last part. I feel like that would be for the riot shield. Okay, it was here and now it is no longer here. So I actually think the part is just fully glitched, which means I'm just never going to get the shield or whatever that build. Unlucky, we moved on. Okay, so now that I turn on the power though, right? And I get myself a jug. Like, is, is that possible? I feel like this isn't going to be one of those maps I enjoy in BO3. Like, respectfully, of course. I think SBP told me that like the Easter egg for this map is actually really difficult. I don't know how true that is. Uh, if it's not true, then, you know, I'll go after him. Uh, but yeah, okay, we got double tap down there. It's double tap 2.0 as well, which is nice. Got basically nothing still up here. Where did I see Jug that one time? It was in like, uh, it was like locked behind the door. I'll find it. Also, this Python is for some reason like just really satisfying to use. Like, I'm not really a massive fan of it on BO1 or BO2 for that matter, but like, yeah, I don't know what it is, bro. Like, you just got some fast mobility. Call me McCree, bro. Okay, wait, how do I get in here? Uh, 
okay, that's got me kind of like a little bit confused. I don't really know how I'm going to get in there, but dude, what is even the point of this? Oh, here we go. Dude, I am, I'm actually so confused and it's so dark in here. It like says we can go in here, but we just can't. Oh my God. Or like, like, like we need to go in there at some point, right? In the bathrooms right now. I, I am, I'm very confused. I feel like this is a very like Easter egg heavy map. I could be yapping though. Uh, okay. I mean, I guess I could just go back down here though. Got a bit more of this area we can check out. There was a door down here somewhere. I can't remember where it was now. Oh bro. Oh my God. Dude, I'm, I'm playing. I'm actually goofing bro. Being a little silly Billy. Am I going to lose this part as well? Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's just a nice little bug that just never got fixed. Cool stuff. Gotta love that. I, I could be straight up dead here. I think I'm cooked. No, okay. We're good. I'm actually the best. Well, I think world's best player. All right. We're all good. Uh, can I go this way? I think it was this way, right? Yeah. Okay. It's heading here. Bro, where am I going? I'm actually heading straight up the mine shafts. <laughs> bro, where am I off to? Bro, another two grand dot. There's actually no way. You're playing with me right now, game. All right, game. You're going to give me something good from the box while it's fire sale? Please. I would very much appreciate it. What are you going to give me? We got that, bro. There's actually no. You can't make it up. Like, you actually just fully cannot make it up. Like, the stuff that happens to me sometimes when I'm recording is insane. Bro, you actually just cannot make it up. Like, bro, this thing is poopy, bro. This thing actually sucks. Up. Bro, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way this game's making it up right now. There's actually no way the game is playing. Bro, there is no way. Bro, I'm in shock what I just witnessed. Like, straight up. Straight up, bro. I might have PTSD from that. Oh, bro, where am I? This is just a whole ass new area of the map. Okay, hello. Uh, I guess we can link that. Cool stuff. Got a hammer. Game, I literally already got a hammer you notice dude these zombies are fast as well they're like rook sprinters oh my god oh i'm absolutely cooked here i'm absolutely cooked here oh my god bro what did i just play yo i'm sure this is a great map if you actually learn it but like without a guide what a miserable experience okay maybe the bo3 like version actually improves on it and you know to be honest like if i can actually get some good luck with the box uh it should be fine but yeah that is going to be the world of war version of uh i can't remember the name of it now that's heron house or that's heron house i don't really care how you say it. i'm sure i'm gonna have some little like nerd in the comments correcting me on it all but yeah that's what the world version done so let's go ahead and move on to black ops 3 and check it out on that game all right then so here we are we're on the black ops 3 version of das harren house or however you you know pronounce it bro this map actually looks really nice like i'm, I'm not even gonna lie bro uh, so i'm not gonna lie i wasn't really a big fan of the world at war version if you couldn't already tell i mean i thought it was all right but it was just like it was just a bit of a big map for me so who knows right they might have improved it all in the uh bo3 version who, who actually just knows but we'll just check out the place i won't spend super long on this uh but yeah so scans us a load of points first it's a custom cult as well, I just realized. Oh, dude, look at all the stuff at the bottom as well. Okay, cool. Do you know I could do it? Oh, never mind, bro. I actually got scammed. I thought it was a gobble machine there. I don't know if you ever like get a gobble machine. But yeah, bro, I straight up just got baited there. I'm not even gonna lie. Dude, the zombie spawns on this map are pretty slow. I'm not gonna lie. A little bit whack, but you know, it's all calm. All right, we've got 3,000 points. Let's start making a move. If you look at this, right? It's the exact same layout. Crazy stuff I know. That's kind of what a remaster is, Jake. I don't know why I'm getting so like amazed by that. Sorry, Rod Gums. I wonder if it's just like goes between different locations. Like it did, you know, like bait. Black Ops 3, like before they like patched it out. Yo, what is this guy doing, bro? Unlucky for him. But yeah, I wonder if it just like moves locations. Because some people won't know that. Uh, that when Black Ops 3 launched, the gobble gun machine didn't just stay in like every location. It would uh, move around, which is real crazy stuff. All right, let's keep making a move as well. Okay, I could really do with a gun. I didn't really want to buy like the Gewehr or anything like that. Oh, actually, I think this is the grease gun, right? Yeah, okay, we'll take this. This thing has no sound to it. Why? I, I don't like that. Is this sound? I can't tell. I don't think there is. Or at least I can't hear it. Uh, weird. All right. Oh, dude, it's actually like bright outside oh we can go this way oh yo i'm outie bro yo, see you there beware the weeping angel oh and duck really duck what are ducks for bro i love the doctor yo shut up bro bro the ducks got me beware of me yo i made the biggest mistake though waiting a day to play all the bo3 versions big mistake bro i already forgot the layout of the map it's actually one of those maps so i don't think i ever hear anyone talking about nowadays like it's weird like i feel like it was popular when it came out and then and that was it it just kind of like fell off okay i'm trying to figure out where to go genuinely i'm pretty sure the only way i can go is either this way which i think just takes me back into the room i was just in or we go this way so off we go mp40 there widow's wine here oh dude i just straight up can't see in this room and it just takes me back here oh my god bro am i just like dumb or something i just i can't get the layout of this map down oh what is this is it just a, like a dog round no what is that bro oh are those the things from world war ii zombies i think it is oh bro get out of it that's actually gross get these world war ii shenanigans out of my face straight up bro how long is this round gonna go on for though like, i can't find our sky uh okay i I can't find them. I'm also going to go this way. Oh, wait. Here we go. Yeah, power's down here. Okay, cool. Okay, all right. Well, we know where we are now. This is where the uh, Type 100 was last time. Oh, my God. Yeah, and this is where the 
2k door cars. Oh my god, bro, get away. Okay, there we go. Oh, here's the box. Uh, I think I'm good though with the grease gun, to be fair. I don't really think I need it. But yeah, good to know at least like there it is. Uh, let's get out of here. And if I remember correctly right, I'm pretty sure power was just down here. So uh, there it is. So bam, power is on. Oh, that's, that's just cool. Like arc reactor type of shit. Oh, okay. See, all I want to do right is I want to at least like try and pack a bunch of guns. Like bro, the fact that I couldn't even pack a bunch on the World of War version is a little bit embarrassing. See, one thing I will say right is surprisingly, this map actually runs pretty well. Like for a, like a map that looks this good as well, and it not just lagging like shit on my PC is a miracle, bro. Drake actually stopped going after mine and said, yo, God's plan. Your PC is going to work fine now. What is this? Okay, I think it's part of the shield, right? Yeah, okay, nice. Bro, for some reason, I thought I could shoot this lock. Like, I, bro, I've been playing way too much Red Dead Redemption 2 recently. Like, I'm making my way through that story, bro. And for some reason, I just start thinking I could like shoot locks and shit. Uh, okay, I can't remember where I went uh, after this. There's this thing here where he says something is interfering with his console. Like, shocks me. A little bit wacky, a little bit goofy. Um, Let's head up this way. At least I can actually see now. That's one thing I like, right? Like, on World of War, the map is just so dark. Yo, two grand as well. Oh my god. All right, let's go up this way. Uh, where does this actually take me? Okay, we can go this way. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's a lot of zombies. Yo, we might actually just be straight up dead here, actually. Yeah, we are. <laughs> like, this is it, bro. No ammo. Actually, I can't buy my way out. Hold up. Hold up, bro. I got an idea. I got a big... Okay, that's stuck. Um, that actually kind of works in our favor. There was an STG over there, which I would have liked to have bought, but I don't think I'm going to get past these guys. No way. What is that? Carpenter? Okay. All right, we'll buy an out here. Is this a grease gun? Oh, it is. Okay, cool. We can just buy ammo. Nice. Actually working out for me. Okay, we've got a trap there. Can't go this way. I think we can go in here though, right? Yeah. What is this? Okay, it's like making noise whenever I interact with it. Um, I, I don't know what that does. Same with whatever this thing is. Is this all just for like the Easter egg? I think it might be. All right, so this is like quite literally pointless to come into. Nice. Nice. You know, we just love wasting our points like that. Can I go up this way? I can. Where is this taking me? I don't know. Another door. Bro, all right, I'm going to be real, right? I think I've said this before. Custom maps that just have door after door after door is the most unfun thing in the world. I'm going to say it now, bro. Like right now, it really just feels like all I'm doing is just opening up doors. Like I think this is most of the map opened up now, right? But like, yeah, it does get a little bit annoying. It's like my biggest issue with custom maps, but okay, we managed to link the mainframe anyways. We pick up a hammer. Oh, I think we could do that in the uh, World of War version, right? I don't think I ever figured out what it was used for, but you know, we had it. Oh, and we got another one of those World War II zombie rounds. Okay. Oh my, oh bro, I'm out of ammo. Uh-oh. Oh, bro, there's actually no way, bro. Oh my god, dude. And this is for everyone that says, please play World War II Zombies. This is why, bro. This is actually why. All right, well, that's uh, that's Heron House, or however you pronounce it. Uh, personally, I'm not a massive fan of the map, uh, but maybe that's just because I've not played it enough. So if you guys want me to come back and actually play this and maybe even try and beat the Easter egg, let me know. I definitely will. But yeah, with this map done, let's just go ahead and waste no more time and move on to our next World at War map for this video. <laughs> All right, boys, so here we are. We're on the Five Nights at Freddy's map. I guess I did a little bit of foreshadowing before, right, when I started spitting the FNAF floor, but yeah, here we are. Now, this map, right, actually holds a lot of nostalgia for me, all right? I remember playing this map a lot back in the day, all right? This is my go-to World of War map. I don't know why. It's just, like, really fun. I don't know why. Also, you can come over here, interact with this, I think, maybe. Okay, never mind. I guess you just can't interact with this. But you, you actually can, but, like, I don't know why it's not working. Basically, it plays the funny little squeaking noise from Five Nights at Freddy's. It's real crazy stuff, but yeah, I mean, let's be real. Like a lot of people have made Five Nights at Freddy's maps, you know, on Black Ops 3 and Modern War. So it's a nice little comparison. So I, like, I want to try and beat this map. I don't know how long it's going to take or if I'm actually going to be able to do it. But basically, as you can see in the bottom left, right, it says night one. All right. And we need to get that all the way up to night five. And I'm pretty sure we can get like a Bible ended. So like, you know, like that's the plan. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But you know, it would be nice if it did. You know, we'll see. Um, Let's try and not die here to the Five Nights at Freddy's and I'm going to try and show <laughs> what are you doing? Him, bro uh okay i guess let's just make a move it's like you know try and kill the zombie bro okay he's actually just jumped up but guess okay, by this the g3 is out here we also have actual quick revive it's not the poopy little world of war version uh i'm gonna buy this for now there is one gun i really want to get because i don't know what it is but it still sticks me to this day and like whenever i get it in custom zombies like it just makes me giddy uh, it's the bison all right bro i want it so i think this is like a ugx mod so you know it's not like specific to this map but like this is where i like mainly know it from bro the weapons in the uh ugx mod are actually insane i don't know why they just make me happy also we swell tonight too okay i mean cool okay so this is where we would be able to buy the ending once you know reach uh, night five also we can come over here interact with this get a cheeky little jump scare look at that real scary stuff you might remember back in the day all right i think like vanos gaming played this map you know this map went mainstream don't ask me why that is relevant like at all but you know it, it just is uh okay i gotta try to remember where everything is oh my god don't die we're all good but yeah where would power be i think it's back 
back here, if I remember correctly. Now, here's Jug. Also, cheeky dog jump scare there. Some people might have straight up just shit themselves. My apologies. Uh, okay, so it's not there. It's got to be back here then, right? Yeah, okay, here it is. I don't know why the power's there, but you know what? It's calm. We move. We don't even think about it. Okay, so yeah, now we can get Jug. Probably going to... Oh, my God. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm going to die here, bro. Oh, my God. Okay, the one thing I'm not a fan of is it does have the uh, World of War hit detection, which might be one of the worst, like, engines in all of Call G Zombies. I can't even lie, Chief. So, yeah, we do need to be careful about that. I'm going to have to buy back my uh, quick arrive in a second if I can. See, like, the oh, my God. There's actually no way I'm dead here. Oh, there's actually no way, bro. Oh, my God. Okay, we're going to fast restart. Right, I'm not going to call it the... Oh, wait, there's actually, like, game modes. How, how do I get past the screen and not remember this? Uh, Bro, should we just do gun game and time gameplay? Yeah, you know what? Oh, why not? <laughs> actually, why not? Let's spice it up a little bit. Get a little bit devious. Oh, dude, look. They've even got, like, the uh, glowy thingies. I think they always drop a, a power up, if I'm not mistaken. Like, from all of the times I've ever done a tower map, usually that means they always drop one. Okay, there we go. Under the scorpion now. Are we going to get, like, free perks and stuff? That'd be pretty sick. Oh, no, we got gun advancement. Oh, dude, cool. Oh, but we're flying through this already. Look at this. Actually might be the fastest thing known to man. I assume you, you know, can't buy the Bible ending on this, but it would be funny if we did. Like, we're already on to night two. Bro, we could do some actual devious little troll in here. Uh, what have we got? Oh, dude, this is the PP-19 Bison, bro. This is the gun, bro. That just makes me giddy. It just makes me excited every single time I get it. I don't know what it is. It's like the smoothest weapon known to man. I'm not even going to pick up that weapon advancement yet. I don't even want it just yet, bro. I want all of my time with this weapon. I don't know what it is, bro. This weapon just hits unbelievably different. I don't even know how to describe it, like, genuinely. Okay, but there we go. We're off it now. So, the USAS as well. Also really good. Dude, I might just not even have to leave this area. That'd be a little bit crazy. I probably will end up leaving because I want to get, like, perks and stuff like that. But I just wanted to have it be known, right? I could do this. I don't think the uh, Black Ops 3 version is going to have anything too crazy. Oh, wait, dude. A crossbow? Okay, that's actually really bad. Yo, believe it or not, Chief, that's actually not good. Yo, bro, this thing, like, actually splatters the blood around now. It's a little bit crazy. Oh, my God, dude. That reminds me of, like... Uh, this is going to be so random, by the way. It reminds me of a Gmod mod. <laughs> like, a Gmod add-on. Uh, where, like, basically, it just makes the gore, like, 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 I don't know, like, like, really extreme. I don't know if anyone's gonna know what mod I'm on about, or, like, add-on. But where my brain goes, who actually knows? Okay, gun advancement. Yo, we are straight up kind of cruising through this. I didn't think this was gonna go as quick as it is. I'm gonna be, re I'm gonna be real. Uh, we can turn on the power. There we go. Let's make our way over here. We can also buy ourselves jug. So, let's go ahead and get that now. I don't think it was really needed to be, you know, completely honest with you, but, I mean, we might as well take it. We're still on night two, so I don't know if we are gonna be able to get up to, like, night five. It'd be cool if we could, though. To be fair, I think the fact that I'm on, like, time gameplay is probably also speeding up the thing. You know what? It's calm. Honestly, it's calm. We move. Got a lot of maps to play. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, right? Like, I'm kind of invested in the Five Nights at Freddy's lore, all right? I'm not gonna lie. Like, bro, I I've been invested in the Five Nights at Freddy's lore pretty much since the games came out. Well, not even pretty much. Like, actually since the games came out. Like, straight up, bro. I remember being, like, what, 14? Probably less than that, actually. Probably, like, 13. I know. I was, like, an actual little, like, seven-year-old. That, that doesn't make sense. That, the, what I just said, that actually just makes sense but you know moving on yeah like i remember like when five nights of freddy's free came out right and like i was there bro day one on the launch i looked up my favorite pirate website oh my god okay hold on yeah i got the game for free uh for legal reasons i have to say that's a joke actually to be fair it wasn't actually me that you know did that it was someone else all right but yeah, anyways right like i've been invested ever since like like you know the first game all right I, i've been the day one you know i've watched all the map pack lore theories and you know it, it's one of those things right where it's like i'm not even that interested in the games like especially with like the new new games and stuff like that that's come out which you know fun fact i'm pretty sure for like the month of august i'm pretty sure like security breach or something is free or something like that i honestly can't remember but you know if you want to play that then you, you know you can but like i'm not even that invested anymore in like the games because you know like the games just aren't really that good anymore like no offense like i played through the entire security breach honest to god like the best time i had was actually experiencing the bugs outside of that the game was pretty dog shit but yeah like but, like honestly i'm not even that invested anymore i just want to know how it's going to end like i just want it all to piece together i don't know what it is like Oh, bro. Oh, my God. Hold up. We're all good. We're all good. We're all good. But yeah, like, I don't know if you guys have something like that where, like, you just genuinely don't care about, like, I guess the media anymore. You just want to see how it's going to end. Or, like, you just stick with something just to see it kind of all just, like, piece together. I don't know, bro. That's where I'm at with Five Nights of Freddy, personally, right? Because, like, no offense. The game's been out for, like, actually 10 years now. Like, bro, like, come on. Like, if the Five Nights of Freddy's law doesn't get sold within, like, the next, I don't know. Oh, I might be dead here, actually. Oh, my God. Wait, bro. Are you serious? There's actually no fucking way. There is actually no way, bro. I, I guess we'll just play that bounty hunter i don't know what this means but sure we're gonna play bounty hunter at least for like just a little bit while i talk but yeah bro it's been out for like 10 years bro like if it's not been sold in like the next i don't know like 10 years bro i'm not gonna lie like that that might be it bro i don't know how much more i can do i don't think i can be in my 30s still thinking about the five nights of freddy's law you know no offense matt pat well bro i don't know what this fucking mode is by the way but this mode actually blows 
<laughs> like, what is this? What what is this, bro? I don't I don't get it. I actually don't understand what this bounty hunter mode is. You just gotta kill the, the guy. Real crazy stuff. Truly some real crazy stuff. But all right, honest to god, I think I'm just gonna call it here on this map. Like uh, this part of the video is gonna be super short. Probably. I don't know. It really just depends how much I waffled on for, but like, bro, I'm not sitting here playing this. Like, what is this, bro? Like, this is actual cheeks. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's Final Fantasy one on uh on World at War. I'm a little bit disappointed with myself. I kind of wanted to beat it. I'm not gonna lie. Because this map is just like very nostalgic to me. I'm not gonna lie, right? When I get my internet on the 12th, yo, I might have to come back and stream this map and just like beat it. I, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but yeah, okay, that's gonna be Final Fantasy 1 on World of War. I, I cannot believe, by the way, that if you die in gun game, it, you just straight up die. Like, I couldn't even buy quicker though. I couldn't even buy any more perks. Like, the only perk I could buy there was Juke. That's like actually really upsetting. But uh, whatever, it is what it is. Oh my, I'm actually gonna die again. Okay, no, we're not. Okay, we're good. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead, move on to the Black Ops 3 version and check out Five Nights at Freddy's 1 Zombies on that game. Right then, so we're on to the Black Ops 3 version of Five Nights at Freddy's 1, all right? Now, I had to get another version than the one I was originally going to play. Also, I could just buy this through the wall. You know, unlucky, bro. But yeah, I had to get a different version because the one I was originally going to do uh, was just nothing like the World of War version. But this one actually is like really similar. Like, I think this one actually is a straight up based off the World of War version. So we even got the same little funny pizza guy. So my goal, right, is to actually try and beat this one. All right, I was a little bit upset. All right, I did myself dirty back on World of War. We're going to have a massive comeback though here on Black Ops 3. I'm going to make sure that we beat this one. Bro, look at the perk icon. It's actually pretty sick. I've got the fucking, oh, hello, bro. Is it a Freddy Fazbear? Oh my God. There was like a solid week where I just couldn't say anything else but that. We're past those days. All right, I'm an evolved man. All right, we should also buy our way. Oh yeah, you're so funny game. Yeah, you're hilarious, bro. You actually got the whole squad giggling with that little jump scare there. Okay, I didn't realize there's actually gonna be jump scares in this map though. That is kind of like actually kind of scary, but uh, you know what? We move. We actually move. So it's 1500 points to get to the next area. Bro, what even is that at the top though? If that max ammo? Though? I'm pretty sure it's, uh, bro, I'm trying to get like, my FNAF floor going. Oh my God, what's his name? Is it Nightmare? No, it's not Nightmare. Is it Nightmare? It could be Nightmare. I actually can't remember, bro. Okay, it is Nightmare. I had to look it up, bro. I was so mad. Yeah, bro. Like, you just straight up just cannot see what, who that actually was. Uh, okay. Do I want to buy some ammo or do I want to just go? Uh, yeah, I, could, I could just do both, to be fair. I'll do double points. It's kind of big, actually. Let me see if I can end the round real quick and then we'll do one more round with the double points and then we'll start moving. I think that's probably the play here. See, I'd assume our goal is to get to night five in the bottom left. We just got to night two, actually. So, yeah, our goal should be to get to night five and I think we can just buy the Bible ending. So, yeah, all should be good. It actually is generally so embarrassing how fast I died in the World of War version. Like, I'm still thinking back on it. Genuinely still thinking back on it. You know what? That's in the past. Uh, oh my god. Okay, we gotta buy it. We gotta buy our way out. Straight up. I nearly died there. That was scary. Okay, so this, I assume, is the Bible ending. So, cool stuff. We do have challenges here, which is interesting. We're gonna have to do that soon. Oh, yeah. What's up, bro? You're so funny. You're actually... Yeah, you're actually so funny, game. You're not getting me, bro. You've got no one freaking out right now. Not even a soul. Bro, I'm actually out of points. Um, okay, I wanna get Jug as soon as possible, really. And I also wanna buy, like, Double Tap. That'll, you know, be quite useful. Oh, there's a Wonder Fizz in there. Wait, I wonder if that means I get in there. Huh, that'll be interesting. All right, we'll get to that later on, though. But now, I just wanna try and get set up. It's probably worth me maybe getting another gun. So maybe buying that MP5 there. A lot of SMG so far. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm not entirely complaining, but... Bro, the models actually look pretty good. You know, for, like, Five Nights at Freddy's, you know, not bad. Actually, not bad. Uh, but yeah, let me buy this MP5. We've got a point thing here. Cool stuff. This map is kind of dark, though. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I guess it's kind of, like, meant to be dark, though, because, you know, it's a horror map. Okay, what are these challenges about, anyways? Kill 25 zombies in the workshop. In the in the one now? Okay, bro. Yeah, you're not funny again. Uh, actually, not funny. Uh, I assume this is the workshop, even though I'm pretty sure that this is, like, there's an incorrect name for it. But, uh, yeah, this one shouldn't be too bad. Should be alright just to get these kills. Uh, I do want to buy double tap, though, when I can. Well, I'm just kind of, like, saving up for that right now. Even though I already have enough. I'll go buy it, actually, after this round. Just get the rest of these kills. Come on, Bonnie. Come on, Chica. Come on, Freddy. Place the B, little bro. Like I said, Freddy, that was not Freddy in that crowd. But, okay, let's buy this. So, there we go. Alright, we're pretty powered up now. Doesn't seem to be, like, any dog rounds or anything like that, which, you know, that, that's calm. Need 15 more kills. Uh, I do want to get back there at some point. I'm pretty sure that's where uh, Pack-A-Punch and stuff like that is. So, probably going to want to start working my way, getting back there at some point. Okay, surely we don't need that many more kills. Yeah, there we go. Uh, buy 10 mystery boxes. Okay. Uh, where would the mystery box be? I'd assume it's back here. No, this is where speed color is. Okay, uh, it must be back here then, right? 1500 though. That's quite a lot. But, uh, yeah, here it is. All right, well, you know, we'll start saving up for that then. Even though I would have liked to have bought speed color, but, you know, it is what it is. I mean, I don't need to do it now, to be fair. I can just, like, save it, but I don't know. I'll be get set up, I suppose. It was an alcoholic beverage in Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. That's not lore accurate. That's just telling me, like, purple guy just, like, popping off, bro. Dropping martinis left and right. In all fairness, right, the animatronics do be getting quirky at night. So that would probably explain it. Uh, okay. What are we getting? This is the KS23. Bro, what even is this? I also just love that 
all of these guns just do not have sound. Very nice game. We got the stoner. Okay. This gun actually should be pretty good. I just need to buy something like um speed color or something like that. Bro, what is this? All right, let me get speed color just for now. Oh my god, actually, this was like a really bad time to buy this. Ooh, go, go, go. Kind of got saved by the zombie blood, to be fair. Bro, M14. Yeah, you're actually hilarious game. All of these guns kind of suck, bro. I don't really want any of them. I mean, is there any like wonder weapons in there? I see the thunder gun. Oh, Remington, bro. Yeah, you're hilarious. I actually got the whole squad giggling with that one. All right, the box stuff is kind of taking too long. Kind of want to start working towards maybe getting pack a punch. Like, I'd assume one of the challenges is probably like pack a bunch five guns or something like that. Oh, but then it would make sense to get through that first and then uh, I can pack a bunch both of these weapons. So I'm not like having to pack a bunch more than I want to pack a bunch, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah, you know what? All right, we got enough points. Let's just get through the last couple of these. Maybe we'll get something good. Who knows? We still need to make it to 95. What do we got to do with Rangers? Oh, these would be sick to keep. I actually kind of want to keep these. Yeah, these would actually be so cool. Yeah, okay, we need to hit it two more times anyway. So let's just quickly go do that. So there's one hit with a HS 10s. Not taking those, bro. Imagine, right? Like, I'm actually happy with the weapons I've got. Then it's going to give me, like, the Thunder Gun or something like that. I'm actually feeling it, bro. Like, I know for a fact that's actually what's going to happen. Okay, well, there we go. Challenge complete. What are we going to get? We got the M60. Uh, oh my God. Yeah, I think I'm okay, bro. I already got the stoner. All right, cool. So there's that done. So what is our next challenge? Earn, well, I guess 9,330 points. I assume it was just 10K, but cool. All right, let's buy our way back here. So we can buy this door for 500. So now we got this as a little, like, spot we can go in and out of. And we also can buy our way into here, which will let us get the uh, Wonder Fizz, which is also nice. But no Packer Punch, surprisingly, which is a little bit concerning. I swear the Packer Punch is meant to be here, but I guess not. So it's been moved. But where to? That's the real question here. Uh, I mean, maybe we just need to do all the challenges. I, I don't know. I mean, this challenge is pretty easy, to be fair. Just literally just, like, play the game. Where would Packer Punch even be, though? It's got to be to do with the challenges. Like, it just has to be. Like, there's no way it's not. Also, I kind of regret opening this door because we could have just, like, sat down here. I don't think zombies are spawning down. Oh, no, there is. All right, never mind. I wonder what around you hit night five on. I think it's like, well, if I take a guess, I'd assume it's like 20 something, maybe 25, or maybe just like 20. Let's just see if we go up a night uh, when we finish this round. Because if we do, then that means it's every five rounds. So are we going to go over to night four? No, we're not. Okay. But our next challenge anyways is grab nine power-ups. What a dead little challenge. Oh, no, we did go to night, night four. Okay, cool. So we're going to reach night five by round 20. Now, the only thing that does concern me right is technically right, although the game is called Five Nights at Freddy's, there is technically seven nights, which if there's seven nights, that means we'd have to go up to round 30, which would be a little bit grim. We should be good. Uh, but there we go. All right, we got ourselves a death machine. This power up one is going to take a hot minute, by the way. Wait, did I just get a bonfire sale? Wait, what? Is it? it bro, that's a bonfire sale, but I only picked up a death machine? Bro, I'm so confused by that. I guess they just used the, uh, the bonfire sale as the uh, death machine icon for some reason. I don't know why they would do that, but whatever. I mean, you know, it's not the end of the world. We can also, do oh my god, that is loud. We can hit the wonderfuls a few times, get ourselves some more perks. Oh, we got widows. Wait, there's pack a bunch. You can see it now because of vulture day. Oh, it's behind there. Okay. So yeah, I, I, my guess then is as soon as we do the challenges, that's going to like disappear and then we're going to be able to get pack a punch. Bro, this actually might be the world's loudest map known to man. Holy shit. I know you guys like the, the volume up, but for my own sake, I got to turn it down, bro. I actually have to turn it down. I wonder if Widow's Wine Grenades count as power-ups. Yeah, let's test it. Let's let this guy hit me. Hopefully he drops one. He did not drop one. That is kind of unlucky. Yeah, I actually want to test that. But yeah, also I think we have every single perk now. So cool. Plus I think we're maybe three rounds away from getting off this map. So oh, we are cruising right now. Okay, so for my little game theory right i'm gonna gather up a few of these so like oh no we'll say this much and then if i shoot into them is this all gonna count as drops yeah there we go <laughs> easy stuff bro so does that unlock pack a punch no it doesn't uh okay so i'd, I'd only be a guy game but how would i get the pack punch H how does one do this game do i need to reach night five that seems a little bit dumb if that's the case but you know i don't make the game this is something i need to buy oh i can make the poo splatter out well there you go <laughs> crazy attention to detail yeah bro i should have never picked up vultures Ed actually the biggest mistake of my life. All right, one more round. And then we should be on night five, which could... Oh, wait, no, we can just buy it now. Oh, okay. So the challenge is just literally opens up the Bible ending. So how the fuck do you get Pack-A-Punch? Bro, I'm actually baffled by that. How do you get Pack-A-Punch? It, it's got to be by getting to night five. Like, it actually has to be. If it's not by getting to night five, I'm going to be shocked. But then again, like, now that the Bible ending's open, do I even want to bother with Pack-A-Punch? At this point, I need point guns. Well, let's see what happens anyways. So round 20, are we about to hit night five? There we go. And yep, there we go. There's pack a bunch. Okay, cool. I mean, at least we got it figured out. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to bother with it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to train up a load of zombies, get to 50k and just be on my way, bro. Actually, just be on my way. I'm glad we actually kind of like beat this map though. Oh my God. Hold up. Okay, we're good. But yeah, I'm glad we actually kind of like beat this map though. I, w I was genuinely so disappointed in myself after the World of War version. Because again, right, that map actually holds so much nostalgia for me. Like, I think I, I said, I can't remember now uh, what map it was. But I said like the only map that really held up on the World of War version was probably like cheese cube unlimited nah bro the furthest freddy's map also 
holds up in my opinion. I don't know what it is. That map just holds way too much nostalgia for me. So in my opinion, it holds up. I just think there's something about World of War Customs. I mean, I've said it like multiple times. Like, there's just something about it that's just like, it's just different, bro. And there's certain maps where it just hits even harder. Like there's that Simpsons map as well that I played in one of my videos. That map, I actually love that map, bro. Like straight up. As much as people hate it, nah, it's one of my favorites. I was like, we're getting pretty close, bro. It would be lovely if the game would drop me a double point. Yet to see one though, which is kind of insane. But thank you, game. Bro, this might be the longest I've spent on a map. 27 minutes. I'm actually kind of wacky, but... Ooh, bro, don't die. Oh my god, don't die. If I die now, bro, it, it's actually over. Okay, we got enough points, so let's just quickly run over to the Bible ending. Round 22. Bam, there we go. We actually managed to beat the Five Nights Freddy's map. Let's go. I, I redeem myself. I think I redeem myself, but... Yeah, okay, that is Five Nights Freddy's 1 in Black Ops 3 Zombies. Real crazy stuff. Uh, but yeah, with this map done, let's just go ahead and move on to our next World of War map for this video. Ho, 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 here we are playing a Christmas map <laughs> at the start of August. All right, so like next up, right, we've got UGX Christmas. Now you might be thinking, Jake, this is a really weird time to be playing a Christmas map. And yes, it is. All right, I'm not going to deny that. But boys, all right, I I'm, I'm coping here. I'm stretching. These last two maps, it's going to be a little bit rough. I mean, this is actually like a map that's in World of War originally and then got ported over the Black Ops 3. You know, I'm not coping about that. Right? I'm, not, I'm not joking. Uh, but yeah, like there's not really any like main maps. I mean, there is Clinic of Hell, uh, but Dobby... And I think Zilla, I actually don't know if Zilla's working on it. Basically, like, I'm pretty sure Dobby's working on it. Maybe it's Zilla. I don't know. One of them are working on it. Uh, and yeah, like, it's currently in development, so I can't really do that yet. But yeah, we've got this anyways for now. There's some ugly zombies over there. Look at that. Look at them creeps, bro. Oh my god, bro, there's actually no way. I was looking at his nose and I got killed. There's actually no way. I'm speechless, that just happened. Dude, I think I'm going to run time gameplay normally. Like, honestly, like, I'm pretty, like, slow right now. I'm curious to see, like, what carries over into the Black Ops 3 version, to be honest with you. Like, I'm actually curious to see how similar it's going to be. But yeah, this would have been, like, a great map to have played around Christmas. Uh, But yeah, you know, start of August, you know, we move. Okay, Uh, is it worth me buying this G3? I don't know. Uh, It probably is, maybe. Yeah, okay, I'm, like, about to be out of ammo. Oh, but then we just got an insta kill. Okay, I'm going to buy this. What have we got? The use here uh, and we've got the AK. All right, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get enough points for the AK. If I can, I'd be very happy. Uh, if I can't, it should be fine because I should have enough for the G3. I mean, we should be good actually, especially with this double points. Yeah, we're all good now. Easy, bro. Yo, we, we skipped the G3, honestly. Oh, we're all good. Who even needs it? Who actually even needs it? Bam, AK 47. Dude, if I can get me my PP19 buys on the end, I'm gonna be a very happy boy. That might have been the cringiest shit I've ever said, bro, but like, uh, we move. What is this? Just a book, earliest version of the Cronorium. Let's head out here. God, the air uh, XM. A? What is that? Is that? Isn't that the grenade launcher? Oh, I might be yapping actually. Uh, UMP there. We've got the box here and um, we got a toilet. Cool. This seems like a very simple map. All right. I'm not, I wasn't really expecting anything too crazy to be fair. If the Black Ops 3 version offers a gun game, that might be the play. I don't know. So yeah, is this like the entire map then? It's just like a little survival map. I mean, it's cool. It's cool, I guess. It would have been nice if there was like some perks or anything like that. But you know, I suppose for a quick little Christmas map, it's not awful. But in terms of like, uh, you know, trying to record a video, it's a little bit rough, but we move. We move. I actually just a job for you know me and my waffling skills but oh my god bro they're kind of fast actually i don't know if i'm a fan of that but it's ugly like actually hideous i wonder if there's something cool out of the box let's have a look oh bro that's such a cool little like animation it goes on blue uh game give me my pp19 oh okay never mind we got the p we got the p90 it's something that begins with p see i want to see if i can get anything cool out of the box All right that's, that's kind of my goal right now the flamethrower i'm actually gonna like just like respectfully pass on that the flamethrower is actually some cheeks bro like the only reason to use it like i guess like in world of war is like for knacked and for the only two maps because they're the only ones that like don't have wonder weapons on them all right real question is right is the ray gun considered a wonder weapon nowadays yeah this is like a serious little debate because i'm not gonna lie right like the ray gun you know it's kind of lost its wonder it's like a special weapon more than anything it's not really like a wonder weapon anymore which is kind of sad to think about but i don't know bro do we still class it as a wonder weapon that's for you guys also this is the uh xm8 so it's just like a, a weird version like the g3 there's some futuristic shit though i'm not gonna lie right like world of war customs actually do just hit different like i i can't even lie like even though right the black Black Ops 3 customs are better pretty much in like every single shape and form like do, like bro i don't know what it is world of war customs will always just hit like significantly different i don't know what it is i think like by the, the, the reception of like my first video a lot of people like just agreed with me with just like there's something about it that is just so special it's actually just like fun as well like it that's it just it it's just fun like even if something as simple as this right like it's just like a little like, survival map i don't know it's just it's just a fun time all right what else we're we gonna get from the box here game come on give me something good we got the flamethrower again oh my god wait 
this thing actually killing? Yo, is the flamethrower actually good? Yo, no way the flamethrower is actually good. That's actually kind of blew my mind. Bro, it is. Look at it. It's just going in. Okay, cool stuff. Maybe we will be keeping the flamethrower after all. I mean, I could technically just like sit here forever. Like if this thing never ran out of ammo and like it just kept killing, like straight up, I could just sit here and just cheese my way through the entire thing. All right, I'm starting to see why the flamethrower is like really bad now in actual World at War. We've discovered the reason, boys. It's like weirdly fun though. I don't know. Just like sitting here just doing this. Obviously, you know, I'm on time gameplay. So, you know, it's not too much of an objective here. I guess we just like just chill out and survive. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have put on time gameplay. That was probably a big mistake to be fair. Uh, we move though. We do in fact be moving. All right, what else we can get from the box? Come game. You know exactly what I'm... Okay, you're not funny. You're actually just not even funny. Bro, I think he's got the whole squad giggling. So there is like different versions of this map. I just kind of downloaded the 1.0 version. There could be, I guess like, you know, an improved version that actually has like perks and maybe a new area. I don't know. But yeah, I, I don't know. I just got the base version anyways. I think it might just be like patches. Who honestly knows? But to get this map right and also like rainy death as well, you have to use this thing called like, I think it's like UGX Mod Manager. Bro, actually brought back the most amount of nostalgia. I put it up on my Twitter. I mean, if you're not following me on Twitter, you know, make sure you go follow me on Twitter. But I put it up on my Twitter about just how much nostalgia brought me back. Basically, it's just like, it's kind of like hub where you can just download a bunch of like different customs on your maps. It's insane, bro. Like it actually just brought back so much nostalgia. All right, I won't lie, right? I'm starting to run out of things to talk about. There's only so much you can really do just sitting here killing zombies. Yo, I guess something we can talk about is, you know, the recent cancellation of uh, Moist Critical, if you even really want to call it a cancellation. I mean, basically, if you don't know the law, he had a little bit of a debate with Sneeko, everyone's, you know, favorite. I I'm just going to straight up say it, like, straight everyone's favorite pedophile. Like, l let's not beat around the bush, bro. Like, if you're a Sneeko fan, like, I'm sorry, but, like, he straight up said that a 15 year old can marry a, a fully grown adult, which is just, just straight up wrong. I think he said, like, 25 or 15 or something like that, if it's consensual between the parents. It was actually the most insane thing I think I've heard. But, yeah, basically, I think in this debate, uh, the question came up of like should children be allowed to uh i guess like have surgery and stuff like that at such a young age and i'm pretty sure moist critical said yes as long as it's like consensual between like parents and doctors and stuff like that which I i'm not gonna lie right and I, I mean this in no offense like it is a bit of a weird take of, like especially if they're like 11 like i do think that it should be something that you can consider and talk about but you know once you hit like at the actual age where you can consent then you can make that decision again don't, don't cancel me don't cancel me bro uh, but i think moist critical also said the same thing in like a later live stream i think he like backtracked on it and said like no like i thought it was when they were 18 and they could actually consent or something like that uh and i think he got like just basically cancelled and the person who cancelled him is just sneeko like it's the people who keep comment on it is this like sneeko updates account which i think is just straight up confirmed to just be sneeko himself which is really bro it is so random having an account that just updates you about yourself i was joking oh my god ooh. i was joking around i think with civo and nick and i was just like bro imagine right if i just made a twitter for just like an update whenever i just like take a shit or something like that bro like did renzaru take a shit today no yes no <laughs> that's why it'd be funny like that's what i mean bro like if you've if you've got an account where you have to update yourself that's just fucking weird but basically like the two people who keep just like posting stuff it's just those two or it's just him but then he started posting stuff like moist critical is like leaving the internet or something like that due to the backlash and i think he had to make a video being like, like this is the first time hearing me leaving the internet like straight up like i never even said that i think he said that he was just leaving a podcast or something like that real crazy stuff the whole cancellation of most critical it just seems like just genuinely stupid uh, and i am very much surprised that people have taken issue with what most critical said over the fact that sneeko said that a 15 year old should be allowed to marry a 21 year old or like a tw 25 year old or something like that like it just, just genuinely baffles me like genuinely baffles me but yeah i mean cheeky little cancellation cheeky little drama happening there uh <laughs> there is some drama happening in the zombies community but you know I, I don't think people should really be talking about that anymore with uh, you know everyone's favorite content thief and uh, his ex-girlfriend the only thing i'm gonna say on that is both are just apparently very weird like don't get me wrong what ren did was was pretty bad you know there's no denying that if you don't know who ren is that's his ex-girlfriend but it, like that was pretty bad but at the same time you know mr content thief was also pretty bad so yeah i, I don't know bro like there's really no size to take in that story you, i'd recommend just reading up the uh you know evidence yourself and making your own decision over it but yeah a lot of drama happening a lot of drama a lot of stuff happening on youtube at the moment i think i'm just straight up dead here oh my god hold up i'm actually a pro oh okay never mind i'm dead <laughs> okay but yeah that's the uh the, the drama part of this video done we lost an astounding 15 minutes right? i had to waffle my way through something right? i ran out to talk about but yeah that is ugx christmas anyways on board of war so uh, i guess let's go ahead and move over to black ops 3 and check it out on that game all right then ugx christmas black ops 3 edition here we are right we actually have perks never mind perk is disabled in this game mode let's go so i am doing gun game uh because my god the world of war version of this was not it bro like actually was just not it so yeah we're just gonna try and beat the gun game it's actually the exact same one as uh i think it was the one that we played on finals of freddy's one on world of war 
before. Like, it looks the exact same. I guess it's just like the UGX special. Bro, like, this map is it's just like really bright. I'm not gonna lie. It's actually kind of like hurt my eyes a little bit. We move though. We actually move. Okay, we're onto the Shiva. We do get like actual stacked up versions of these weapons, bro. Like, fully equipped with attachments and everything. A little bit crazy, a little bit goofy. Oh, there is more to this map. Like, look down there. Cool stuff. All right. So here was the church area. I think this is a bit bigger as well. I don't remember there being this whole area. But yeah, I feel like this is gonna be like my main area, right? Like, I probably wouldn't have to leave. Like, honestly, I think I'm just good just chilling here. Uh, I will I will check out the place though. It would be a little bit boring if I just sat here and did nothing. But I wonder how you get perks on this then. Plus, I wonder if you down, if like that's just it, or if you just get demoted. Bro, a lot to think about here. Wait, what's that? Uh, is that just oh invulnerability? Okay. Oh wait, no, we can buy dead shot. We just can't buy quicker about. Okay, so I guess you like you can't down. Okay, cool. That's good to know. That is actually really good to know. Okay, so we do want to try and explore that. So I said this way. Obviously, there like is in here. I don't know what's in there though. I mean, we can just go have a look. To be fair. Oh, we got drug. Nice. All right, I'm probably gonna want to just save up for that. Power was already on. Very nice. I like that this like this actually like really feels like a World at War map. I don't know what it is. Like obviously it's in BO3, but like it, it actually just gives off World at War vibes. What is this like reticle, bro? What is this? The ugly. I don't think I ever use the uh, the actual like reflex sight on the pistols. I always just use the Elo sight, bro. If you don't use the Elo sight on pistols or like snipers or anything like that, bro, like you're just weird. Like who actually uses this sight right here, bro? You actually need to come out and like and just straight up just like show yourself, bro, because I refuse to believe you exist. See, it did have an option for time gameplay, but like by the time I pressed gun game, like that was it, bro. Like it just straight up put me into the game. Otherwise, I would have put on time gameplay. But then again, it might have gone by a little bit quicker time gameplay on, but I'm just saying, bro. Oh my god, oh, bro. What? Oh my come bro. Oh my god. Okay. All right, I'm actually just not happy, bro. Okay, I'm just gonna get back to the Vespa and then we'll go from there. All right, back to where it was. I do actually have time gameplay on this time. All right, I'm not gonna lie, it was so unbelievably slow and so painfully slow without it on that I was just like, you know what, we're turning on this time. Something I've not noticed, right, is there's no, I guess, like, gun progression. Like, there's nothing that, like, puts you forward with a gun, if that makes sense. Alright, we do have a lot of points, though. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and actually buy drug this time. So, bam, there we go. And then, I wanna go check out what's down here, because this wasn't in the original one. We can go this way as well. Can we go this way? Oh, we can. Oh, bro, look at that icon as well. That's actually pretty sick. Yeah, this in here, though. We've got speed color over there, and I won't lie, that kind of seems to be in this room. <laughs> there's actually nothing here, bro. Bro, actually insane how point let's have rumors all right let's head this way then what have we got here got the mystery box which i can't hit because obviously we're playing gun game got double tap that's kind of what i was looking for so go ahead and buy that never mind i guess i will not be buying double tap why can't i buy double tap oh no there we go i guess it's because i had that terminator perk on uh pretty strange but again look at the icons very nice i like it i'm a big fan the terminator thing is actually kind of op it like speeds up your fire rate by a lot i kind of like it bro all right let's buy speed color though okay what was this way is it just stamina up i think it might just be that all right well i mean cool stuff there we go. Got all of our perks. There's no pack range though, which is weird. Like I feel like there should be a pack range somewhere on the map. And if I had to take an honest to god guess, I would just I would have guessed it's back here. Uh, but I don't like see a way to get in there unless it's one of those like shoot bully strikes, as like uh, a teddy bear or something. Like that. Uh, I don't really know. But to be fair, like pack range doesn't really matter to me anyways. We just need to complete this current game. We're about halfway now. But hopefully, you know, as we go further on, should start to speed up a bit. Bro, look how fast I can shoot this L4 siege with the uh, Terminator perk on. Oh my god. Uh, there's nowhere else I can go, right? Like this is definitely it. But it looks fit it is. I know, what was that? Press F? What, what, what did that do? Oh, it's growing or it's just spinning. I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe that's how you get like pack punch open. Maybe you've got to find three of those. But no, it's gone now. Bro, what? Okay, that's actually like the most confusing shit I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Mr. Rock Waffles actually needs to come back from DC and just like solve the shit for us. Have you guys been keeping up with the whole like Mr. Rock Waffles stuff, bro? It's actually kind of crazy, by the way. I think the like the craziest part, by the way, is no one still has like any idea on whether or not it's an official thing for Black Ops 6 or if it's just some shit he's just doing in his spare time that, that's like the craziest part to me personally right i think it's just like a personal project of his because i mean like as much as people don't want to trust mr dark jd right i'm pretty sure when everything came out with like uh those images and like the whole like the dyer's cast thing and that whole website i'm pretty sure he was saying that like you know it, it's not a real thing blah 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 and a lot of people are like yeah we're not gonna trust you bro but like i also don't know how i guess it would work with him like advertising as a bo6 arg like i feel like that would be kind of misleading but you know then again i don't know what what they think about that it, it could be a real thing i genuinely don't know i'm very interested to see where it all goes though but like bro mr off is it's just like he makes the funniest content like it's actually so crazy me svp we were just like sitting in a vc watching the uh the one where he uh oh what's it bro where he goes like the bike shop oh my god please don't die Ooh, okay i think we're good 
You are joking, bro. As I said, so that, oh, we're not, we're not playing that again, by the way. That shit, it might be just the most boring thing ever, but, but yeah, we watched the one where you went to the bike shop, bro. We were actually howling, bro. It's so funny, but all right, that's the end of VGX Christmas. I'm sorry I didn't beat the map. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like, that, that is just, it's just not it, bro. Like, it's a cool map, but like, but like making content, bro, it, it's just not it. So, yeah, that's gonna be UGX Christmas. Cool stuff. But yeah, with that done, let's just go ahead and move on to our final map for this video. All right then, so here we are on our final World of War map. But now, again, I'm not going to lie, all right, I'm, I'm kind of stretching here. Uh, basically, there's a map on Black Ops 3. I can't remember the name of it. I think it's called like Kyasuru or something like that. It's some like Japanese like weeb stuff. But basically, right, that map is based on the World of War multiplayer map Castle. So I went out and I found a, a version of the multiplayer map Castle that, you know, someone had turned into a zombies map. And, you know, that's what we're going to be using as a comparison, all right? It, it's a little bit rough, but to be fair, I don't think it's too bad of a comparison, all right? Right. So yeah, all right, I'm not gonna lie, right? I haven't really played a whole lot of like World of War multiplayer, to be honest. Like, it's not really my thing. I wasn't really around for it. And, you know, like, there's really no reason to go back and play it now. See, so, yeah, I don't really know much about this map, all right? I'm not gonna lie. Oh, dude, we got free perk. What do I get? Increased melee damage? Oh, cool. Okay. I mean, I I'll actually take that. I mean, it I think it is still World of War knife in, which is a little bit upsetting, but uh, we move. What is that? Stopping power? Okay, cool. Yo, we're actually popping up a little bit right now. I will take it. Okay, I need to try and get out of this area and get myself like a gun. So this door costs three grand. Love bit expensive i'm not gonna lie but wait are we move can i go this way yeah we can we can this one only costs a grand uh yeah it actually might be a shower going through here what do we got the m14 sure it'll have to do hey, where's that icon at the bottom it looks like my avatar except with green hair strange stuff all right i don't think you're actually meant to be playing this on a uh, solo by the way <laughs> i didn't turn a command just to even get into the map because there wasn't an option to play solo uh so yeah you know we're doing some devious little uh hack in here oh my god this is actually getting a little bit intense why are all these maps like so difficult oh my god no 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 Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're all good. We're all good. See, I could do with um with Jug or something like that. Quick Revive. I think that's going to be the co-op Quick Revive. I don't think that's going to be the solo Quick Revive, unfortunately. Judging the fact that I had to hack my way into solo, I don't think that's going to work. I mean, I could be wrong. Who knows? Uh, Can I go out this way? No. Rebuild barrier. Rebuild barrier there. Okay, so I can't go this way. That's fine. Uh, I guess we'll just go out this way then. Three grand. Don't take it up to that big area, the big courtyard. Cool. At least we have an area we can kind of like train around now. Oh, we got another perk what is that armor regeneration what does that even mean like what what does that even mean all right we move i am actually very interested to play the black Ops 3 version because from what i've heard it's actually really good but it's also kind of difficult so yeah i'm kind of excited to check that out dude i'm out of ammo again okay this is not good a uh, quick rebuilding the best perk in the game boys i can now rebuild barriers twice as fast let's go we are actually so unbelievably up at the moment track you should re wait you have a second chance wait well i actually just died there there's nowhere that that's insane okay well at least we know that quick revive does does work like the uh solo quick revive that we all know and love a little bit annoying i died though there because i did lose my stuff and power okay let's hit the box see what we can get hopefully we get something decent we got the g3 i mean i actually will take that to be fair we'll happily take that okay we can go down this way anything interesting i don't think you can buy perks i think all the perks you get have to be from zombies that's kind of what i'm guessing right now but this could be the whole map like i'm not gonna lie this could be it not a massive map but oh dude we got stopping power back okay nice that's actually like the one perk i was like really desperate to get back and, like the rest of them would be nice but being able to do more damage is kind of big. So what round are we? Are we on round five then? Oh, dude, another perk. Uh, Self-defense. What does that even mean, bro? Dude, I, I'm very new to all of this. I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is like a common mod or not. So I don't know if you guys are going to know all of the uh, upgrades here. But yeah, this is very new to me. I don't think I've ever seen a mod like this. Dude, really, bro? We got the Barret. You are joking. Come on, game. And he's doing good. Oh, dude, we got a perk over there. Bro, are you serious? An fucking RPG. All right, what do we got? We got fast reload, though. That's cool. Is this it, though? Like, is, is there like nothing else to open up? Because like, by the looks of it, there's not. But apart me just isn't ready to accept that oh no we can go down this way four grand bro that's expensive okay that's calm though uh okay let's pay the four grand cough it up head out here it's gonna be anything cool out here anything interesting hopefully there will be hopefully i can just waste all my money right now it feels like i've just bought my way into a death trap okay we got armor regeneration back i don't want to get me back quick revive uh, i'm not gonna lie okay five grand for that door a little bit expensive but we move it might be worth me going and getting like another gun not gonna lie i don't know when this mp5 is gonna run out of ammo and i haven't seen a single max ammo yet which is a little bit rough oh my Bro, what the f- Somebody just like appeared out of nowhere, bro. Dude, what is it? Nuke launcher? What? what oh, bro, are, you, are you actually serious? I mean, what was I expecting? Like, genuinely, what was I actually expecting? All right. Uh, I think that's going to be it for Castle and Mother War. I don't know what I'm playing. Like, bro, these maps aren't the greatest things in the world. So, yeah, I guess let's just go ahead, check out the map on Black Ops 3, and just, you know, finish up this video. All right. So, here we are, right? Our final map for this video. Uh, again, I don't know how to pronounce it. Kyasaru. Bro, I'm not Japanese. I'm not a weeaboo. Uh, but, yeah. So, this map is based off Castle, as you 
you guys can see. So it's going to be our little comparison. I think I was actually here in the uh, World of War version, if I'm not mistaken. Like back here is where the, um, the whole like courtyard bit is, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, cool. Yeah. So bro, look at that perk icon. That's actually pretty sick. But yeah, this map is pretty old. This isn't like a new map by any means. I don't really hear many people talking about it, but I'm pretty sure it was pretty good. So yeah, we'll probably just check it out for a bit. You know, just really like check out the map. Again, if it is an Easter egg and you guys want to see me beat that, then, you know, let me know. And I'll come back on the map at some point because at, at some point, right, I want to do like the, the hardest custom zombie map Easter eggs, but I don't really have many maps for that. So, oh my God, bro, are you serious? I don't want to die. Yeah, if you've got any suggestions for that, then, you know, let me know. Okay, so where can I go? I can go up this way. Plus a thousand points. Is that the only way I can go? We can buy ammo for our starting pistol there, which is kind of weird to think about. Like, you just never see that. We can also go this way. Okay, good to know. I'm sure we can go this way as well. Yeah. Uh, all right, so we've got a lot of ways we can go. Interesting stuff. Oh my God. Bro, bro, oh my God. That is the loudest zombie blast ever, bro. Why is everything so loud in these custom maps? I swear down, bro. Every time I pick up a zombie blast, I'll be ready for a little jump scare. I think that's just what it is though with old custom zombie maps. Like, uh, they didn't really have their stuff figured out. You know what? It's calm. We move. I'm not even going to judge it. Let's just kill these zombies here. And is it worth me buying a weapon? What is this? This is like, I think it's like a shotgun. So I'm not going to bother with this. Uh, Yeah. Okay. Let me just buy some ammo and then we'll just start making a move. So should I go this way maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Nah, you know what? I want to go up. I want to go check out what's up here. Oh, did you can go through here. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, so what do we got? Oh, okay. So we've got random perks. Don't really know if I'm a big fan of that, but jug straight off the bat and a gas can. Cool. That's actually kind of sick. Let's get jug as well straight off the bat. It's really lucky. I'm probably just going to buy that like straight up. I don't really see much of a reason not to. So let me just get all of these points with this infinite ammo. Bro, you can shoot this gun so fast. <laughs> it looks so goofy. Okay, so there we go. I'm over here. Grab myself jug. And that seems to be about everything up here. I mean, there's a gun there, the M1 Grand. Personally, I'm going to pass. Uh, but yeah, you know, not bad. Uh, I guess. Oh, we got dog round. Okay, let's just go this way. So actually anything over here. Okay, we can go down here. But what is this? Oh, we got power. Oh, dude, sick. It's a little bit weird that, you know, we were able to like buy perks without the power being on. But I'm not even going to question it. Oh my god, bro. Let's not die, please. Let's actually not die, please. Okay, how do I get out of here? Oh, like, can you? No. Okay, we're going to go back this way. Cool. All right. So I would say we picked out probably the best first two doors. Like getting power on and also having jug. Like that's actually pretty lucky. Oh, we can also head down this way now. I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, we can. 2,000 points. Get through that door. Real expensive stuff. But yeah, I'm probably going to come back to that. I kind of want to see what's down here first. So what have we got? We've got the Type 100 here. I'm definitely going to be buying that. Me and the Type 100 actually go way back. Press F to begin grenade kill challenge. Oh, okay. Oh, and we got another perk machine here. What are you going to give me? Speed Cola? Uh, I mean, I guess I'll take it, but would have probably preferred double tap there. Yeah, I want to see if I can get this grenade challenge done. I want to get for it. I'd hope so. I'm good, but who knows? Also, I want to try and get it done now because if I leave it too late, I'm definitely going to struggle with that. But yeah, let's buy the Type 100 as well. There we go. Cool stuff. Bro, the Hell's Retriever. Um, I'm sorry, what? Or is this an axe? Although it's just straight up an axe. <laughs> okay, cool. Also, the Death Machine is the MG42 as well, which is pretty sick. Bro, I can't believe we just got an axe. See, the thing with melee weapons though is they all kind of just suck. So, I mean, I'll take it, but I don't know if I'm going to be really using it too much. Oh, we can spin it around though. Look at that. You see that? That's pretty cool. Uh, but yes, yeah, so the only way to go now is through this door. So we're not too far away, to be fair. Okay, 2,000 points by the door. And yeah, here we are. We're into the courtyard. So we can't go down that way. Anything up here? Oh, there's another one of these. Again, no fire challenge. Don't fire weapons for 125 seconds. Oh, well, I mean, there we go. We got the axe. So sure, there we go. At least we're going to be like able to still kill zombies and stuff like that. I mean, I'm happy with that. It's just like a little bit delayed, which is a little bit annoying. But like with the uh, with the kills, but you know, it's kind of move. All right, so what else have we got? We've got a gong down here. Uh, can we go in here? No. Got PPSH there. Wait, what? Um, why can't I see into that? that? That is actually really trippy. I don't like that. I mean, obviously, it's just to tell you where uh, the box is and stuff like that. But yeah, that, that just doesn't sit right in my eyes. There was another challenge over there, though, for kills. So once we're done with this, we'll activate that one next. But for now, let's just keep exploring. So we've got this down here, 950 points. Uh, okay, we've got another thing here. We've got a hose. Oh, we make it like a flamethrower? That would be pretty sick if we were. I'm oh, sorry, we got stamina. Cool. Again, I would have preferred double tap, but uh, it's calm. Okay, we can buy this door here for 950. We can also head down here. Oh, no, this is where we went in from. Okay. Door is locked. Congratulations, you passed this challenge. Cool. Thank you, game. Oh, here's the box. Oh, and I open up to this area, and we're going to get another perk. So that's got to be double tap right there. There we go. I mean, it could have been mule kick, but let's be real. Like, who actually wants mule kick? Even the game said, yo, bro, I'm not going to make you use mule, mule kick, bro. The game's got a heart, all right. Okay, so what do we get from this? Wait, no, this isn't where I activate it. Okay, well, I mean, I'll activate it anyways. Get 80 kills before round 11. Okay. Oh, so we got the school splitter thing. Um, okay. So I guess that just gives you melee weapons. Like, that's literally it. Weird, but what are you doing in there, bro? Oh my god, you're actually hideous.
is. Oh my god, bro. Yo, bro actually looks like an alien. What the fuck, bro? Unlucky for that guy. Wait, how does this challenge actually work? Get 80 kills before round 11. Like, what if I was to activate this in like round 10? Like, that's physically impossible. Huh, I don't know. Maybe it just gives you a random round. Who knows? Okay, but let me go ahead and buy double tap. Probably not the best time to buy it, but you know, we move. Who is actually going to stop me? And honestly, I'm not going to lie. This axe, not really cutting it. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. So what do we get? Double barrel shotgun? Sure, why not? I actually like the double barrel, to be fair. Okay, was there anywhere else I can have a look at? I think we can go down this way, right? Yeah. So where does this actually take me? We can go in here. Oh, this opens up to this area. Okay, cool. I think we've pretty much got like a majority of the map opened up now. Yeah, here's where our last perk's going to be, which, you know, will be mule kick. So yeah, I mean, we've pretty much got everything now. Also, additional. Oh my God, bro. Actual fucking jump scare. I forgot about that. Okay, but yeah, this is where we can build something. So yeah, again, right. I assume we're making a flamethrower. That's kind of like the wonder weapon. Where the last part is, I have no idea. There is no chance here. The headshot challenge. I don't know if we can activate two challenges at once. So I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to complete this one first. Then we'll do that one next. But if it's just giving me we like melee weapons, like I'm really not that bothered about doing them. So fire alarm. What did I say on that? Air raid not authorized. Weird. Okay. Wait, bro. I just realized because it's bug round, like I'm, I'm not going to be able to get it. Like 80 kills per round 11. That is, bro, this challenge is like kind of stupid. Like actually kind of dumb. I don't know if for the Easter egg, you have to do all of the kind of like challenges, but lucky for me, I'm not doing Easter egg. Unless it gives me round 11 to also do the challenge. It says before round 11. So I assume I'm about to fail it now, right? Yeah. Okay. That's just dumb. Like actually it's just dumb. 70 headshots per round. Nah. Okay, bro. This, this, these challenges are cooked. Can we go in here? No. It seems a bit weird. You can't go to say, oh, you can. Okay. This map is very weird. I, I don't really get it, but maybe that's just me. Oh, pick up fuel tank. Oh, is that it? I think that might be all the parts we need for the flamethrower. Oh, dude, I want to go build that then. Oh, and I've died. All right, you know what? Let me just get my flamethrower and then we'll like use it for like five minutes. Oh my God, bro, there's a boss on me. Um, hello, what are you doing here? Oh my God, what are you doing here, Pookie? Oh, bro, what the fuck? You're back away. Bro, where did he even come from? Who even are you, bro? Uh, who does bro actually think he is? And we do have a nice little infinite ammo here. I'm about to go to town, these guys. Okay, oh my, bro, did, oh my God, go away. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Dude, oh bro, what? Are, he's just like teleporting around. Yo, back away, bro. More combat character wanna be. Okay, there we go. What do you drop? Pick up dragon? Bro, what does that even mean? What does that even mean, bro? You know what? I don't even know. I don't even care. Wait, I wonder if we can use the dragon on this. No, door is still locked. Okay. I, I don't really know what the what the dragons use for them, bro. I'm a bureau. But can I build the flamethrower? Yes, I can. Press an, bro. Okay, there we go. Jesus. Yo, actually the world's slowest build. Oh my god, there we go. Okay, but let me grab this. So bam, there we go. We now have the flamethrower. Is it bad? No, it's actually pretty good. Oh, okay, nice. Uh okay. I think that's probably about all I've really need to check out. I mean, I'm gonna be real, bro. Like I, I don't I don't don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it, bro. I mean, it's a cool little map to check out, though. Definitely interesting. I mean, you know what? At least we got a perk holic. What are we gonna get? Well, actually, the most dookie little perks. Dude, what is that dragon used for, though? I don't get it. Also, yeah, you can only attempt one charge at a time. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't really know. Maybe, you know, once I get my internet, like, fully sorted out and stuff like that, maybe I'll come back and check it out on stream, or again, for, like, a hardest Easter egg challenge, if this Easter egg is actually pretty hard. Someone's gonna have to let me know in the comments, but this is, you know, probably all I really want to check out on this map. I mean, I, I just, I just don't really i just don't really get it my brain is actually fried bro it's just one of those maps that you just need a guide for i like they got like a little mini flogger here though bam zombies are actually about to get collapsed up see you later little bro bye bye oh my god all right but yeah that's gonna be it for the comparison on this map uh definitely a cool map if you want me to come back and check it out then you know let me know but for now that is all of the comparisons for this video so jake go ahead take us away with the outro so that is the end of the video i do hope you guys enjoyed i'll be honest i don't know if it's going to be another part two to like this series of world of war versus bo3 customs I think I've actually played every single map that I can compare. I can genuinely, like, at best, maybe think of, like, of, like two more. Uh, but yeah, you know, let me know other things you guys want to see, like, compared. Or, you know, like, the next entry to the Versus series. And, you know, if I see some banger ideas, then I'll definitely do them. Uh, but yeah, you know, just real quick, I want to say thank you to everyone who's a member on the channel. You guys are actually... Bro, who there's actually some old man like just running up my alleyway, bro. What what's he doing? He's like working out or something. Bro is actually cooking over there, but but yeah, for everyone who has become a member, there is actually like new emotes that you guys can use on the channels, like in the comments and on live streams and stuff like that. I'll put them on screen right now. They're actually like really sick. Shout out to an acidic teacup. All right, he's been like kind of cooking. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, you know that's all I've already got to say for the outro. So yeah, remember to subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more content like this. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.